Welcome back to night one of UBAF, short for Unapologetically Black and Fast, hosted here on the Games Done Quick channel. Uh, this is the finale. This is going to be the final night, of, final run of the night. Uh, then we all hit hit the recharge percent, rest our batteries, recharge our batteries. Sorry, and come back for the for the rest of the weekend. And we got a real good one finishing off this one. We got. Kingdom Hearts 2, run by the one and only Silencer. You want to introduce yourself to the people here? Silencer, I new to the speedrun. This is going to be like my 11th month speedrun in the game, and I got some things to show. I got some things to show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Tell us about the, uh, what are we doing here? Kingdom Hearts 2. So Yeah, so it's going to be the uh, Kingdom that. Hearts 2 gummy skip. So instead of like going through like the whole gummy missions, uh, there's a mod that like took out the gummy missions. So instead of just like playing through the gummy missions, the uh, spaceship, we just gonna go back to back to back to back world. So we get this done quick and out. That sounds dope. That sounds, yep. That's like a really nice mod too, yeah. Yes. All right. It's, it's good. And then I have uh, my commentator here with me, uh, Mr. Lord Danimal. Yes, I am the animal for life. Uh, I'm probably gonna be Helping Sai out here and uh, commentating this run. I've been playing this game on and off for 20 years next month is when it came out in the US. And I tell you, I do not get tired of watching any percent runs of this game. It is extremely years. demanding. With the gummy skip, it's extremely demanding now. Yeah, no with time the gummies, progress. like, used to be able to, like, mm -hmm. you know, do the gummy mission, probably go bathroom or anything, grab a bite to eat, but with the gummy skip on, there's none of that. Like, it's just straight you in the game for the next mm -hmm. two hours. But you know what? It goes a lot faster, though. Uh, yep, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. I am all about saving frames. <laughs> but yeah, I am ready when y'all are. We waiting on you. You're the runner here right. today. It's, all right. This is your, we're following your lead, so. <laughs> all right. All right, Dan, we want to count it down? All right. Give the countdown from five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's get it. All right. All right. I'm excited for this one. Hmm? So I'm excited for this one. All right. And we won't be watching any cutscenes, so we're going to have to try to piece together what the story of this game is. Yep, so right now we starting off as Roxas as a, you know, a prologue to the game, let you know like about the reaction commands, what's happening. You know, he's a I guess a teenager, maybe a kid, and they're just doing summer vacation stuff. Yep, but then go ahead. Oh yeah, he's gonna go and he's gonna pick up the uh the attack struggle right in here. So on beginner percent, uh we're just really gonna prioritize our strength here. Mm hmm. Like I said, there's nothing that, there's no problem that can't be solved by hitting it hard enough. Don't leave me hanging. Move forth, baby. There we go. Now, the cool thing about this run is that almost every tool you get in this game will be used at some point in time. That's what separates it from a lot of other games. Like, I guess it's that one tool that'll carry you through everything. Not here. You're going to have to have deep knowledge of the game. You're going to know. You're going to have to use the right tool for the job. Yep. Like, like he said, everything you pick up in the run, like you will be using. No wasted items. I like that. No wasted items. Probably except for cure. Probably except for cure. Yeah, but we other than that, there's way so we're good. no wasted items. Exactly. <laughs> we don't get hit in this run. And you know what? There are uh, scenarios in certain categories where cure is still a useful item. That is correct. That is correct. So I know in the level one run of the game, level one critical mode, that is where you use cure. But other than that, I don't think there's no other way place to use it. Uh, I don't know if you use cure than any berserk horror strats. Cure is uh good to use. <laughs> but we did not get that. We did not get the levels for that. <laughs> we probably be ending the game around 35. Uh, Raxum, I am McLuffin. So here's the uh, mail delivery through the skateboard. So we're trying to get money because we're trying to go to the beach. So we you know, got to grind, got to get that money. In this case, we're literally going to grind. As literally, we skateboard. literally, literally. There we go. And we delivered a letter to a pigeon. 
Mm -hmm. You know that. Baby? That seems backwards. It ain't it supposed to be the other way? No, I, I don't know, Tom. Uh, I've always delivered all my letters to pigeons. It's the middle. <laughs> you're the middle man. You deliver it to the pigeon who delivers it to someone else. There you go. So, and, yeah. Yep. And with the uh, run, so normally, like, if you're just playing the game casually, you'll probably, like, do the other three, but just, like, get everything done, you just do the mail delivery and run to Hainer, and then you get a bag of money. Yeah, well, so, yeah. small known fact, when I was, when I first played this game casually, I thought you had to keep working all summer until you got the max amount of money. Yep. Nope, you only have to do one. And you don't have to do it particularly well, either. Oh, that's bad. We're good. We save those. There you go. So he's been around and confused them. Mm hmm He don't know what was happening. So again, we're going to go with the sword. Give us that another plus one in Power of the Warrior. Yeah. So the reason why it's strength stat is so important in this game. A uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 funnel, it, um, it has what's called... Um, they have level caps there. Or they have battle levels. Mm -hmm. And the battle levels basically mean that each... Enemy and boss have a floor of the minimum damage you can do. So if you're below that floor, you're all going to always going to do level one damage. But once you get above that floor, you start doing more and more damage. So what, what our goal is, we want to we want to hit the enemies as hard as possible. So we want as much strength to get above that floor, which will allow the rest of some of these fights to go a lot quicker. And with the route I'm going, we will be above the floor for like, I say, 95% of the run. Okay. But if something was to go bad, well, I will have to use some backup traps, and we should be alright still. So, so this is be prepared for the worst. Yep, exactly. So this is the first boss called Twilight Thorn. It's basically like a tutorial into like how everything's gonna go with the majority of the boss. So you will be using a reversal system. It's going to be the triangle that normally pops up. And it's not just for reversal, it's just like a reaction command. QTEs. Yep, yep. So a lot of people think Kingdom Hearts is pressed X to win. In this game, it is actually press triangle. Yep, yep, press triangle. Yep. Now this is all, yep, that's all part of the game, yep. by the way. It's mm -hmm. cannon. No, you gotta <laughs> manipulate the RNG. Manipulate there the RNG. Go. Now that he's done that, the rest of the RNG for the whole game is set now. We won't yep. face any issue. Gotcha. Alright, that's for trying the button. What a god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, solid start, right? Yep. And a lot of people figure this out on their special playthroughs, but the fastest way to attack is actually to jump in the air and swing. Yes. And it being Roxas, he does have like cement in his boots, so it's really hard for that. Yeah. That's very similar to part one, too, if I'm not mistaken. It is, yes. Um, Roxas, mm -hmm. yeah, Roxas moves very similar to Sora in Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, there's story reason for it. So basically that uh, any one time you hear Roxas, that's Sora, and Sora is also Roxas. There are only two characters in all of Kingdom Hearts, uh, Sora and Xehanort. <laughs> so everyone you see, it's one of those two. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, 100%. We could skip all the cutscenes, we could watch mm -hmm. them all. I will probably uh, like understand the same amount. <laughs> I, I do know that the Kingdom Hearts story, for me personally, is very confusing. Oh, oh it is. It's yeah. You think it's confusing. Now, wait till you get to time travel. <laughs> it always gets to time travel, doesn't it? It, you know, it actually did get to time travel. I, I, under I had a very good understanding of Kingdom Hearts until that happened. There we go. We're doing, uh, so the, uh, past time of this town is a game called, uh, Struggle Damn. Fight. We call it Struggle Fights because at this point in your run, you're usually struggling a bit. This is like Pool Noodle versus Pool Noodle. <laughs> a Pool Noodle with stakes. There you go. So there's two ways to win. So you can auto win this if you can get all 100 of their, the enemies orbs. It is. 
He didn't even try at the end. He's just like, hey, just, I'm done. You got yep, it, bro. Yep. <laughs> he just sat there. So we actually defeated, depleted his whole health bar. Yeah, so right. that's the reason why. Yeah, we don't have scan. Oh, yeah. Soon we get scan, you'll be able to see the enemy's health. But yeah, so that's what he's doing now. He's trying to get their health bar all the way down, and there's, there's combo things. So he's very much taking advantage of the revenge value. Mm -hmm. And well, we'll explain that more with the revenge value and everything too. But like, it's okay. a, like a mechanic in the game where you can't just keep beating on the boss. So like. You do at least like three or maybe two combos, then he's gonna like retaliate. Retaliate, yeah. 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 You know what? That's a nice balance though, so you can't cheese it. Man, cheese in this game is a little, little difficult to do. There are cheeses you can do in this. Um, they require a lot of tools though. Tools that we won't necessarily be picking up during the run. Okay. All right, so this is probably like the second like boss, Axel One. Yeah. And for a while, it's a, I mean, for casual players, it's one of the tougher uh, boxes you have for, for quite a while in this game, actually. So, this fight kind of teaches you how to guard. <laughs> yeah, some people put on guard, I do not put on guard. I probably should, but, you know, I won't have aerial recovery. Alright, now the left guard sounds slow. The left fight's yeah. gonna be very difficult and he's really extremely hard to beat, so I'll give the length of some time here to focus. <laughs> so with this fight we're just gonna uh take the loss because the loss gives us a medal which also gives us a plus one to our strength. And in the beginner we love our strength. And with the, uh, if you do win this uh, match, I think you just get a belt and it's just plus one to defense. Again, we're just on beginner, so we should be okay with like defense until we get to like the end game stuff where bosses can actually kill. Yeah, in Kingdom Hearts beginner mode, you take what the half the damage on beginner. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to beat on beginner. Yeah. So, and beginner mode, it, it, that is a nuisance fight. But on critical, you probably, I think it's like three hits, maybe four hits, and you're good to go. Critical is great if you want anything to be able to kill you at any time. <laughs> Back to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, I see. Oh, yeah. Roxas Pro Skater, Roxas. Fastest way to get around. <laughs> it's to stick it to the man and skate. Yup, yup, yup. We're just missing a can of graffiti at this point. <laughs> I won't be too so with far this off, now, actually. we are going to see the <laughs> seven wonders of Twilight Town. Yeah, we were starting with this wall. Yep, we really want to graffiti it, but the wall has an anti-graffiti defense system set up. So it's going to shoot some balls <laughs> at us. There we go, and we dodge them all. Yep. Oh, and that's a sensor that? filter, so you can't. They want to censor the graffiti. What Roxas threw on yeah. there was so obscene. <laughs> the next one, this mysterious tunnel, and we're gonna see a another opponent that we bought. The they look just like those dudes from that one Final Fantasy game. Uh, it is. It is. That is Vivi. Oh wow. Yep. So there's a couple of teams here starting trouble in the neighborhood, and we're getting rid of them. Oh yeah. Golly. Oh yeah, that, that fight is 100% RNG, by the way. You don't know yeah. where they're going to pop up or when they're going to attack. Yeah, they spawn all over. Like, I've had runs where they spawn, and as soon as I did the finish a hit on the first three, uh, the next two got hit too. Or I got runs where they spawned onto the water. Oh, wow. And here's that metal we just put on. Speedrunners. Speedrunner's worst enemy. <laughs> Fortunately, we manipulated all the RNG during that Twilight Thorn fight, so we should be good here. Alright, back into a corner yep. and look at that. Perfect combo. Air combo. Air combo. That's all you need in this game. Air combos and good RNG. We got another very popular video game trope there where you have to fight against a dark version of yourself. 
<laughs> now I gotta ask, does this game have any bats in it? Uh, bats? Yeah, there are uh, bats, yes. We have lots oh, of bats. Yeah, we just, we're hitting all the, hitting all the... They're called... The squares on the bingo card. They're called hood yeah, bats, we and we'll see them in uh, Beast Castle. We'll see it on okay. Beast Castle and uh, oh, we'll Olympus yeah. Coliseum. Yep. In fact, I think so in Olympus Coliseum, don't we, don't we use one? Don't we let one of them attack us? Uh, yes, we actually attack one to get the reaction command out of the bat. So certain heartless and nobodies have reaction commands that you can use that are beneficial, or someone is just gonna just get you out of danger. Uh, that that static is from the game itself. It is yeah, do it. So we come into the end of our boy Roxas, and we're going to be going into the main protagonist. Oh, yeah. So the reason why you saw that, uh, that static come up before is this is not a real Twilight Town. This is actually a computer simulation. It's the plot twist of the game. Oh, this is the main thing. Yeah, but a lot of people mm -hmm. play this, right, expecting Sora, and then they play for three hours wondering who Roxas is. And then you spend the next 20 hours, 20 to 40 hours, hearing Sora ask who Roxas is. <laughs> yeah. It was, it's Wait, a very it's... meta play by Nomura. <laughs> Genius. Alright, we almost there. Too bad there's no skateboard in the forest, so we gotta, you know, get our calories in. Right. Back alley fight. And it looks like uh, nobody have found us, so we gotta get out of dodge here. You got that dude in all black just watching us go down. Yep. Well, yeah. Look, he's fine. Nothing's wrong with him. He just wants to ask us to eat some ice cream, that's all. <laughs> he don't have no friends, so we need to be his friend. I think, and look, canonically, we are his only friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just don't know. We just don't know yet. All right, and we're just gonna get past all of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but during my casual playthroughs, I have this thing where I just have to defeat every enemy that shows up. And it's speed run. Yep. None of that. It no. we're <laughs> right past them. We'll get to XP later. Think that because in my casual playthroughs, I used to like on critical, I used to just defeat everything because I was like, all right, it's the hardest difficulty. I don't want to like die or it's a one yeah, shot. Speed. Yeah. But then as you like watch other receiver runners do it, I was like, oh, wow, okay. I can do that. Yeah. No, you just got to know when to fight. Yeah that's, yeah. that's really the tough balance in games like this. I and mean, when we just went through with uh, uh, Brave Friends of Musashi, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, knowing exactly when to stop or when to keep going. Yeah. And like, okay, it'll just never stop. It was always all right. Can't have enough XP. <laughs> hmm. All right, so we went there. We talked to another character Nominee. who we dominate. We skipped it. You didn't see it, but just the process. We talked to Nominee. Yeah, yeah. All right, just so we're gonna complete. we're gonna walk in here. We're gonna smack a few people, and hopefully we don't run into. It. Any more old friends from our past? <laughs> that sounds like foreshadowing. Nah, nah, not at all. I don't. I've never done a literary device in my life. Side note: I love the uh, the movement with the uh, kind of like the skating after the attack. Yeah. So with this fight, you want to get like multiple. Um, Semi hit so that you could like put them all in range to like just finish them off. Yeah, one of the one of the mechanics you'll see with exploit is that when you hit an enemy, they stagger a bit, and that mm -hmm. they stagger for a specific amount of time. So if you're doing just air combo hit, you can keep them staggered. I'll make it all stop. Um, so while you're fighting him, back over here, I'll explain how revenge value works. So when you're facing a boss. Every time you hit them, there's an invisible counter called, uh, I think it's just called Revenge Value. Um, every time you hit them, it goes up. Most bosses, I think around like the 10 range, they'll retaliate back to you. So, every hit does one, finishers do anywhere from like, what is it, 3 to 5? 
something yeah. like that. So usually when you get about two tunnels in, they will retaliate against you. For regular enemies like your Heartless and Nobodies, they don't have a revenge value. They have what's called a flinch, where when you hit them, they'll attack you back. Um, and that can, sometimes that can be exploited. But yeah, they, but normal enemies don't have revenge value. Hey, good. Thanks for the knowledge. Alright, so what just happened is, Sora woke up um, after one, he would sleep for an entire year. <laughs> uh, how many days? 358 nice. over two days? Yeah, something like, no, 350, oh, yeah. no, one year, because 358 and then you're rocking for Last seven days, year. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, you just, so doing what every uh, parent wishes they could do, which is just sleep for a year. <laughs> you don't have to restrict that to parents. Just anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell he's uh, grown in that year because the clothes no longer fit him. He does not have oh, a yeah, I was say his shorts is looking extra tight. Yeah. You can see his knees and everything. Yeah, it's going to be a couple minutes before we get to drift. But right now yeah, it's a desert. No drift. Yeah. Yeah. So this fight, there are two ways you can end it. So, yeah, there are actually three ways you can hit it. Uh, one, yeah. this fight goes for, I think it's 90 seconds. It's different for each version of this game, but I think on PC it's 90 seconds. Um, it'll automatically end. If you can do 100 hits, it'll end, and then if you can get hit enough to where your health goes to about one-third, it'll also automatically end. So the one-third probably sounds like the most dangerous because you're missing out on value experience, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. So we're going so we're pretty much gonna let this go to its maximum time so we can get as much XP as possible. There are a couple of fights in this game, um mob fights where we abuse to get our all of our XP. Yep. So this is one of them. Alright. There we go, we got four thousand money in cash and a dream. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. You know what, I've been playing this game on and off for 20 years. I still miss skipping cutscenes sometimes. Just, yeah, so... Yeah, you just sometimes have to go through like three or four times. <laughs> oh, the classic uh, Harvest. Yep, it's yeah. classic. Oh, uh, yep, you throw shadows. So, same thing with this one. Um, you can end it by defeating all the Heartless or getting your health below one third. In this case, mm -hmm. it is actually faster just to defeat them all. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Shadow. I'm trying to pick up who the characters are in the uh, 0.3 seconds that we got in the cutscenes. I didn't quite catch who that one was. That's a shadow. Okay. And those the shadow oh, harmers are the most good. annoying because they will go into the ground in which they are immune to everything. Yes, that is extremely annoying. And Time complete RNG when they go into the ground. Oh, and sometimes they will go in there several times in a row, and there's nothing you can do about it. There you go. Dol Dolan right over there put it in work, okay. Oh, no, he's done. He's done helping out, never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. A little too, a little too Donald has any history throughout the Kingdom Hearts games, just like, don't count on him for too long. I know that one. <laughs> if you get Not anything, you just gotta him. take it. Oh, yeah, you can't count on Donald to heal you. You can only count on you to heal yourself. It's actually a valuable life lesson. No one's gonna help you. Except yourself. Alright, All right, so right now, and... we're just climbing up the tower and, you know... A, Linking up with some old friends. Yep, you got your shadow, you got your soldier heartless. Yeah, and at this point in the story, you're sort of very confused because he sacrificed himself into the uh, door to Kingdom Hearts and is wondering why they're still here. Alright, Donald with the MVP last hit. And, uh, you hear Donald trying to 
get his reputation back. <laughs> you do in the story ask Yen Sid why the Heartless are still here, and his answer is, deal with it. Man, that sounds like the people from up above just saying, we wanted to make a sequel. <laughs> uh, yeah, Yen Sid is actually Imagine Nomura. That. Canonically, I'm pretty sure he is Nomura. He said something about uh, stopping a big wave, but, you know, mm -hmm. Disney wants more money. All right, so we just, uh, just right. I'll let you explain new it. It's not like you were really excited about that. <laughs> so yeah, we just picked up new drip and a form uh, that we are going to use soon as we land. But the uh, form that we use throughout the games, like drive form, so it consumes one or two of your party members, and you either get a buff and attack, magic, or both. So the form that we're about to use right now is Valor form, uh, since this is going to be some movement for us. And like you move faster in Valor form than you do in base Sora. Like I said, every single pull you get gets used at some point in this game. Uh, and that was good too, because you have a, since you have a second key blade, your attack stat increases. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, however many, uh, whatever key blade you have, as many, however many, uh, strength step that is, you're, you get that much. Okay. Yep. And I think the default. Oh, so I'm loving the alpha change. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the default key blade, so I'm not really sure, like, what the base that's so is on this. We never look at it during the. Somebody in chat asked, do you prefer. Donald or Goofy more? Uh, let's go with uh, Donald. He got better uh, abilities for us late, yes. later in the game. Casual playthroughs, okay. okay. play yeah. I liked Goofy more, but in more um, like competitive type settings, Donald is probably better for deck yeah. player alone. But we can always count on our right? boy Goofy. Yes, that is. That is Cloud. That, no, that's not class. No, Leon. that's Leon. It's Leon, Leon. Yeah, but it, it keeps... Oh, okay. I just wanted to ruffle a few feathers <laughs> in Final Fantasy games. <laughs> but I played half of the Final Fantasy game once. Okay. How I got into Kingdom Hearts, having not played Final Fantasy, beyond me. You know, I didn't play a single Final Fantasy until after I played the first one either. So, what's up? so everyone was just like, hey, I've seen that guy in a... In a magazine somewhere. So what the listen here is doing is uh no samurai there. Uh they have a reaction command, so if you block their hits, it'll go into dual stance. And we can actually exploit that because it has an area of effect once you do it. Yes. So we'll exploit that when we can and then you also see a bunch of nobodies um kinda of lined up there oh, by the gate. Yeah. Um he will yeah. use a blizzard that we just got to get rid of multiple of them. And we just picked up fire yeah. now. And with Blizzard, it shoots through the enemy. So even if you hit one, it's still going to go through and hit the next couple. Strong. All right, so we up out of Hollow Bastion 1. And we defended the gate. And now we're off to go visit our boy, Pain. Oh, yep. We're going to Land of Dragons. So we landed here, and we have just got recruited, recruited into the Imperial Army. Oh. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Going to Star Trek now? Uh, sort of. I mean, we, there's a gummy ship, we're in space, we explore new horizons. <laughs> this game is pretty much Star Trek. <laughs> with more key plays. <laughs> Oh, this is Mulan. One of my favorite things about the Kingdom Hearts series is how it takes you through these different Well, well watch out. It, it's pain. We can't give away their identity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, know what the, pain, you, know what the penalty, you know what the penalty is? They can't hear us. There's an entire third wall, or sorry, fourth wall between us and them. They can't hear you us. You don't know that. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I, I, my bad. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to give it up like that. My bad, fam. Boiler alerts, okay? Those of us have to watch this Mulan. I would, I would suggest that you change that and watch the, um, the original animated version for this time. If you haven't seen it, it's a great movie. I don't know. Watchmen came out and then I had to watch it 
50 more times for my kid. <laughs> I will. Everybody who's got a kid has got that one Disney movie that they've seen at least 50 times. Yes. Oh, I follow Paw yes. Patrol three times a day for an entire month. <laughs> wow. On what occasion? Uh, on the occasion my kid liked the movie and I just dressed up as one of the characters for Halloween. Aww. Yeah, it was all the first 20 times. And then after that, I was looking for any way to get out of it, but it was COVID, so there was nowhere to go. I think we were all in more so the, uh, the Halloween costume. I think I felt your pain having watched the show over and over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple of torches. So those guys right there are storm riders. Night yeah. riders. Night riders. Night riders. I thought they were storm riders. Huh. <laughs> night riders. All right, so we're getting done these uh, missions right now. So, you know, we got to do all these missions to prove our worth to the Emperor. So he, we could join forces with him and, you know, defeat Shan Yu, our old buddy. Oh, don't get me started on Shan Yu. Uh, yeah, this is our training montage. So the fire has a big area of effect and you can use it to explode those tents and you can find the Shadow Heart with faster. And you see about the RNG we we're talking about, uh, the shadow back there, Donald kept zapping, stayed underground because they're cowards. <laughs> so hopefully it's one point. Oh, nope, Lord. nope. It, like I said, they'll go straight under there. They read your input, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they know exactly what they're doing. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. These ones stay, fortunately, both can't hide. It's over. I do absolutely adore the uh, the design and the the, uh, the money. Oh, the, the shift money. in the money design. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, those are uh, right. those are money. That's uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. No, I just saw it. Which one is that? The thing you have to get for the wall. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, those dragon things. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, oh, it's like, uh, oh, wow, yeah, so if those go away, you will lose. It's up. Okay. Yeah, you can't, you can't let the morale over. drop. War is all about who has the higher morale. <laughs> the morale of the story is moral. Right. Very, it makes me think of, uh, what's that game? Dynasty Warriors. Yes. Alright, so there was a spooky cave that we were told not to go into, so obviously we're gonna go check it out to prove our work. Yeah. I mean, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be a trap? I'm not gonna have my buddies so. with me, we're gonna have to fight our way out? So it turns out it's a <laughs> trap, and we don't have our buddies with us, and now we have to fight our way out. Yeah. Alright, yeah. what we're gonna do here is we're gonna jump over him, there we go. We're gonna hit him with some, with some ice, and now we're gonna use our fire here, and... If we get it just right, we can go ahead and abuse that, and they'll come towards us. So it's gonna be a lot of Our that. Our are really aggressive. There we go. Alright, so we need to be flat two. Night Riders are gonna come hey. back. So look at that. Dodges, dodges one windmill, dodges two windmills. There we go, gives them the business. Alright. So Knight Rider 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, there it goes. Go <laughs> foul! And the level up. <laughs> So I think that was actually Absolutely. a get bonus. So some fights in the game give you a get bonus. So that was a get bonus. So when you defeat a boss or a enemy, you'll get one of those. So those are okay. like stuff you won't get on uh, your normal levels. So he just picked up Sly Dash and that is very useful because the uh, range of attack for Sora is very small. Turn that within two inches of your face. Good luck. Uh, with Slide Dash, you can actually hit enemies from a pretty far distance away. Well, this is another fourth fight that we're going to abuse to try to get any EXP at all. We're here for one minute anyways. Oh, oh Lord. Oh. 
he's better attack. So right now I put on uh, experience boost. So experience boost work like if you're under like half health or at half health, you'll get more XPs for the kills. So instead of getting three EXPs for each one, we'll get six of them. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna want to do, we're gonna want to hit up. There we go. So a little bit scary hearing that alarm go off. It's okay. As long as he doesn't get hit multiple times by these things, we should be fine. Yeah. We're good, we're good. There we go. Okay, that was a level up. I saw yes, the word that level was, up. Yeah, that was right a level there. up. Yep. <laughs> it would not have happened without getting halfway or health halfway down. So like I said, almost every tool oh, in this that's... game, as you see, we, it's getting used. Sometimes immediately. We also get a cup a little bit of money from there too. Mm -hmm. Money. I saw Definitely a few dollars on the floor. All right, so now we got scan on, so now you'll be able to see our enemies. Oh, so we are not blindly hitting them. You know what? That helps out people like me, so I can, <laughs> you know, get the, 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 the attention, you know, how close we are to finishing these fights. I would tell you, it, it's going to be semi fast. It's it gonna actually be is uh, a little, uh, it's a little scary fighting enemies if you don't know what their health is because then you're just hitting them you and don't. wondering, like, man, is it. Am I getting close? Am I making progress? But it's more rewarding though, right? Mm-hmm. It you definitely just, you know, is. When it happens, it happens. You're just not expecting it. So, Ping got injured in battle. So, they have Ping is at home resting. They have a purple heart. Uh, we have Mulan to take his place. Uh, Mulan, much better fighter. Mulan's got swagger. Uh, got the can-do attitude. She knows what she's capable of. Let's, let's right. not forget, she took out the entire Mongolian army single-handedly. And she has some nice poses right there, too. Yep, yep. Wow, you did all the work. She, she, you know, she put in one hit. One hit. That's all I need. It's a team effort. <laughs> we couldn't do it without Mulan and, of course, Goofy letting us absorb his power and devour him. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna fight Sean Yu here. Now you'll see the gates. Uh, the more we have to watch the morale for the gates too. So if it gets if it hits all the way zero, we will have to fight him again. Gotcha. And also you have a falcon that does hit you randomly. Yes, this falcon is ruthless. So, absolutely ruthless. It would definitely sign with PG if this was 91. Yes. There we go, eat snow. Oh my, they was going ham on that door over there. <laughs> I, I, I saw that too. I was watching the meter go down. I didn't know what was <laughs> happening at the door, but the meter, it just, at, at one point, it just started to drop. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. Like Daniel said, if that meter goes down, it is GG's. We got to restart. So we're going to head to the underworld here. Now, if the damsel in distress, we're going to save her. And we're going to make her way down. Now, what happens if we're in the underworld and this is Hades' domain, that dry form that we love so much, can't use it. Some ends, if we have, if we had any, can't use them. So we're going to have to, oh, yep, hey. it's mono and mono. We're going to have to fight our way through it. We're good, we're good. We got teammates, we got party members that's gonna help us, right? Absolutely. Oh, uh, Goofy gets help. hit. That's alright, so Goofy, Goofy just, just took got a hit rock by a rock. To the head. <laughs> Goofy is a rocks to, a head, to the head does not hurt him at all. So, yeah, he just took that and kept on pushing. Right here, so we use those lancers. Uh, they run after us, but we actually use that. They run after us, if we jump at the right moment, they'll hit us forward and give us small little boots. You know, like little time sa saves matter. Don't worry about that book. All right, get it. That book is a no-no. Oh, no. Yeah. You don't want to fight book nerd. All right. So we are almost at Hades' chamber here, and that is uh, slide dash, an example of slide dash being used. The uh, sword just kind of slid forward. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Running. 
Oh, those bats? Yep, those yep, are those are the bats. bats. Oh. Ah, yeah. They look like they would have been annoying. They are off the hook yeah. for sure. Here is it. our boy Hate. So this fight actually ends at a certain amount of hit counts. And with the slide dash, it actually does, I believe, uh, about two or three hits as you're sliding into them. And then the fire does a multi-hit, which is like quick. And fun fact about that fight, uh, here counts as hits. Hey, hold up, is that Orin? Orin, yup. Our boy Orin got captured by Hades. The goat? Oh, he is the goat in this in the party too. Is that all you got? Alright. And jump over him. There we go. Alright. You know what? All things considered, not going too bad right now. So on casual playgroups, this fight right here is terrifying because Hades is constantly popping up. And he is relentless. You can't hit him. Yep. And here's an example of using the reaction command for us. Some uh, heartless, like we said, uh, if you hit them one time, it will uh, force them to attack. And some heartless have reaction commands. So we'll be using it again right here. In fact, every enemy in this game has at least one reaction command. Okay. Yep. But, Keep you on your toes. I like yep. it. Also, I'm gonna be hearing is that all you got in my sleep tonight? Oh, feel the heat! <laughs> oh my goodness! Feel the heat! Feel the heat! This entire boss fight is gonna be my oh wow! Brain worm. Uh, well, hope you enjoy hearing James Wood voice. <laughs> Wait till you hear about the hydrants back. Oh no! We may have to. We may have to. It's looking like. Let's see where we at. So all oh that trek we did to get down, we are now going to go the exact opposite way. A long walk up without no movement. I'm guessing the, the land spheres don't work in the opposite direction. They won't attack. They'll uh act they'll spawn in and like immediately like start running. Yeah, there's so it depends on the the lance soldiers, it depends on the, how far you are when they spawn in. It's, it's positioning with them. They'll, they, based on where you are, is what they'll do. If you're too close to them when they spawn in, they'll just kind of go off and do their own thing for a minute. Okay. So, I, oh, it's my boy Cerberus. Cerberus is just misunderstood. I'd be cranky too if I had to share all my meals with my two siblings. I know. <laughs> And you have to spend all your days with them too. That's kind of no privacy. Alright, so we're going to do a little, little bit of dog training here. There you go, Ant. There you go. Through the orange limit here, and look how much damage that's doing. That's why orange to go. Hmm. So here's another example of the reaction command. Right, he tried doing your key blade, which is inedible, and that could have really yeah. hurt them, so you have to show them that that's wrong. You know what? You gotta give them, a, you know, credit for trying to do it, though. The dogs will do that. They will. Oh. Uh, they jump. Alright, let's see if Thor's got that dog in him. Can he beat him? <laughs> there we go. Nice. Right. Money check, money check. How's our money looking? <laughs> our funds are a little low. <laughs> just, just everything described in a single word. <laughs> that is that definitely is, for the time. That is so not that, cash money. Yeah, that is not cash money at all. Is it time for safety strats? Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. We still have a few more places to go where we can gain some money. So case now scenario, we're in the I mean, some enemies we can farm too. Okay. Some stuff we can you sell. Know, I, Go ahead. Yep. Quick disclaimer for the chat. This is uh, gummy ship skip percent, which disoriented me for a bit because I'm used to the gummy world. <laughs> so I'm just like, wait, how do we just keep getting from planet to planet? 
But if you're just popping in and not uh, realizing what that was, we are skipping. We have a mod that's it's a mod, right? Yes. That skips all of the the gummy ships. So. Yes. If you were confused about that, as I was for a second. Like, the gummy missions are fun, but in this one, I I didn't enjoy them. But Kingdom Hearts uh, three, they actually did a good job with the gummy missions. Like, I actually enjoyed doing the gummy missions. In Hearts three. Yeah. Yeah, they really. Either way, they're not as fast. Yeah. Nope. Mm. By as not doing the little. Yeah. <laughs> so each one of those that he hits gives drop three orbs, and we got to hit to one hundred. So we're gonna be hitting these for a while unless a giant one shows. So, Alright, look at that. So if you hit that, hit two <laughs> right orbs, on cue. And every one that it hits will now drop, drop. Um, those, and I think it gets what twenty each. Yeah, yeah, around that much. Yeah. There we go, and we've just got, what's that, aerial dive? Uh, aerial dive, Yeah, yes. that was aerial dive. We'll see that soon, eventually. Probably, probably. Like I said, Who everything knows? gets used in that at least once. Okay. <laughs> there we go, power oh. boost. So that also will help our yep. strength stat. Aim it a run, get that strength. If you're not hitting the weight room, what are you doing? Hit, hit the gym, little man. <laughs> I mean, Sora's been lacking for an entire year. He's got a lot of training to make up for. Yeah, look at those noodle arms. That's what I'm saying. I don't even understand how he's holding his keyboard yeah. at the moment. If you're going to skip leg day, at least two arms. He didn't do either. Great core, though. We don't even know if he skipped leg day. How baggy are those pants? You gotta... <laughs> so those, those are just his thighs. Never. You know what? I wouldn't even doubt it. The way he, he just never stops running. Yep. Oh yeah. Boy yeah. got legs like Ronaldo. <laughs> All right, so we gonna meet everybody's fan favorites. Dance, water, dance. Jimmy really is it my makes. favorite. I love how lazy he is. <laughs> my theory is that Jimmy Dimmick's real name is Jimmy, but he's lazy, so he just put an X at the end and called it a day. <laughs> Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, sound like something I would do. Oh. So these right here, you hit them once and then you get a reaction command for it, and you're gonna use that. Draw them in. And it's kind of drifted over over. What this does is it teaches you the mechanics because you will have to fight Dimix later in this run. And then fire will also um, get rid of some too. So he'll throw them in there and he'll pop up a fire. There it goes. For a couple of extra safety seconds there. Not bad, Roxas. Okay, who is Roxas? Who knows? Some guy. So we're probably looking around, huh? doing a Drewski <laughs> point right now, like me. And what he did is he gave us the Olympic <laughs> Stone, so now we are free to use our drive again. There you go. Abusing that fly dash again. Love to see it. And this is the part of the run where we say goodbye to guard, so we will not have guard for the rest of the run. It's alright. We don't plan on getting hit. <laughs> In my book, you plan on getting hit, you plan on failing, so. I'll show you. So, this is. We're going to do another. Uh, XP boost to get our level up. Get out of my way. There we go. We're under half now. And those. Oh my god, May. What just happened to her elf? Wow. The bats were going crazy on her. <laughs> what? Now, that is actually not good. It's going to be sketchy now. And Meg also wants to follow you into danger. I, I see that. Like, there's a the trouble over there, and she just ran. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yep, and she got hit one too many times. Not really Pretty much good. you can do about that. You just gotta hope for the best. Yeah, it seems like she found a danger and <laughs> went and sat in it. I'm saying it's just a little suspicious that she's always in danger somehow. Well, it's like 3 6 said don't save her. You don't want to be saved. <laughs> Let's do say we even have cure at this point. Uh, we do actually. Not gonna help Meg. No, no, right? do we? Yeah, Meg's like uh, 
Yeah. Oh yeah, a random party member. Yeah, I think that's what happened to her last time. I think she ate that entire fist combo from from old boy. So we're gonna whack Pete. Now, Pete likes to play what I call a uh, power stretch. You hit him just a little bit, he will immediately hide in his bubble. I'm sorry, is Donald out cold? Yeah. Donald oh, is down for the count. <laughs> yeah, so Donald, very useful party member, very hard to keep alive. Well, sorry, no one really dies in here. I guess knocked out. But uh, he's out cold. Really bad. Yeah, things are really bad right now. I know. Now we're good. We're glad Meg died in the first phase instead of this phase right here. There we go. And here, and here comes Hercules. Let's go. Hercules. <laughs> So it's one of the, you know, actually one of the trials of Perchy wants to defeat, uh, Pete. I learned about that in Greek history. They don't talk about it much, though. They just get past it. <laughs> and we just got Trinity Limit, so we won't immediately see that. Immediately. The slow motion knock into the wall <laughs> is so funny. Oh, the animations in this are hilarious. <laughs> You just watch him go and do it in slow motion. That was great. My favorite slow motion animation is if you're using Peter Pan and defeat an enemy with him, as the slow motion is going, you will see Peter Pan repeatedly shanking them. <laughs> Peter Pan is ruthless. There you go. An intentional hit there, so we knocks it up into it, so we can still get some use out of our dry form here. So now it's just a game of dodging lightning. There we go. We'll wait for him to come down here. All right, and that's it. Okay, well, that's a hydra. Nothing else to do here. <laughs> that was... Oh, no! He multiplied! What's the old saying? Cut off one head, another two will grow? <laughs> it's like some kind of hydra situation. Oh. Are you intentionally walking around it to line it up to be? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. yep. The positioning is very important in this fight. So if they get knocked out for too long, they will come back. Right, and oh, we got a real Hydra problem going on here. Yep. <laughs> and, so sorry, we got Trinity Limit. And the good thing is, each hit, um, with our Trinity Limit there, our buildup does more. Builds the combo up. So the fact that there are multiple heads actually makes it a bit better. Oh, we one cycled him. Look at that. One cycle. GG. DZ clap in the chat, everybody. Nice. GG clap. Nice. That's the best Hydra fire team you've in a while. Yeah, what are you talking about? I do these Hydra fights. Alright, so now. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now we're just going to take a trip to, back to Hollow Bastion oh. real quick. Hey, wait a minute. Yep, because we have no control over our gummy shit. It's being pulled by an invisible force. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's very funny. Just the, the skipping of the cutscenes and just winding up in completely random situations. <laughs> and then the skipping of the gummy ship. It's just genuinely like, it feels like chaos watching this. Like, how did we get here? <laughs> Every time, it's like, how did we get here? It's, Hercules? Like every, is that Winnie the Pooh? How did we get no here? No worry, watching the cups exactly. cut only makes it slightly easier to follow. Go in random situations. I know, that's my favorite part about this game. And I, I, I could watch the cutscene or I could not, and I'll understand exactly the same amount of information. So what just happened was, Merlin pulled you back and asked you not to touch the book. So we, of course, immediately read it, and all the pages got torn out. Immediately. Our uh, friendship. You went to visit Pooh for two seconds, and Dolan and Gooby? What? One direction. One job. They all they had to do was not go outside. Just don't. Did they leave the door open? What happened? And now Pooh doesn't remember who you are. 
But don't fret, ladies and gentlemen. We will not be visiting him again, so he will stay with memory loss. <laughs> So fun fact about that situation, we got something in this game called a summon, which is Chicken Little, everybody's favorite movie. I like Chicken a little. And we will be really. Yeah. Wow. Got Zach Ruff in it. Still never seen it. <laughs> Chicken Little is the go movie. I'm not. Everything I know about the movie it. Chicken Little, I learned from playing this game. Wow. Interesting. Pick a little, very good summon though. So we don't, so there's a magic called Magnet. And we can use that for crowd control. We won't get Magnet uh, for quite some quite some time. So Chicken Little will actually be our crowd control. Uh, no, nah, sorry, Nuker. No, yeet the bear. Bear will be oh unyeeted. All right, boss fight right here. So we just got to fight this closet. Extremely tough boss fight right here. Yep. All right, I'm getting. All right. Okay. Quiet time here. Let me focus. Somebody like got lucky in your face. All right. Okay. <laughs> third cycle. Oh, all right, all right. Easy clap, ladies and gentlemen. Easy clap. Easy clap. In the chat. Easy clap. Easy clap. <laughs> what a god. Let's that only comes from countless hours of practice. <laughs> Alright, so grind in this game. So a door has been possessed, no further question. Somehow that's the least confusing thing that's happened so far. <laughs> Everything we see, we just accept it. Like, oh, okay. Oh, Sparkle is my least one of my least favorite enemies. That's his side, alright. And get that one, there we go. Donald messed everything up that fight. He didn't control the gargoyle. Look, I mean, he couldn't stop a book from getting attacked for two seconds. Look, did you really have faith in him? I had all my faith in him. Power of friendship, man. Power of friendship. Oh, Donald's not here to make friends. And this is just like a little mini game. Light the candles. So the door will only open if all the candles are lit, but there's a some darkness cloud, some video game logic, I don't know. It's dark over there, you gotta use your keyblade to get it off. No further questions. Yeah, you know, this is Kingdom Hearts coded. Gotta, gotta fight the darkness with the power of friendship. And whatever Donald's got going on over there. Donald is basically the reality star because he is not here to make friends. I think this will do the trick. You know, I thought you were going something different. I thought you were going to say Donald is the Ray Allen of. I'm going to say, what did. What, <laughs> where, 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 I would. I, Give me strength. I was, I was waiting for the comparison between Donald and Ray <laughs> Allen. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get it. Because no. he will dunk on you. Reality TV star is much more accurate. Uh, he will dunk on you. Mm. Ray Allen in the prime was dunking on people. He was. Ray Allen in his prime was a beast. Alright, so now Beast has lost his mind and we, you know, just gotta hit him a few times. Yep. Make him, like, hey, come back to the like that. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, it's just, you know, lose your mind, you gotta knock some sense into them. Yeah, you gotta fight CTE with CTE. Hey, look, he had her back in the Hollow Bastion and Kingdom Hearts 1. It's only fair we pay him back and have his back now. And. Beast, one of the best party members in the entire game, actually. Oh, we're good on money, too. You look at that. Oh, we're back? Oh. Yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah, cream. About to get Liddy in this bitty. All right, so we're doing a couple of safe warps here because it's actually quicker to exit the ship and go back, um, especially with the transition to both PS4 and PC. Uh, you can immediately right. just go back in and out, no problem. So this is a two-part boss fight. Two-part boss fight. Alright, so we're going backwards. That, man that actually manipulates them. To, um, coming up below you there. Makes this next part a bit quicker. That's not good. By the way, he will just randomly run from you. Yeah, back off! 
and there's not really much you can do about this. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna whack this a few times. Do our reaction command because every enemy has one. And a couple more hits here should do it. Alright, okay, there we go. You just about to come up. There we go. And that's the boss. Alright, we're all done here. Nice, that was clean. Oh no, we're not done. Indeed, indeed. Alright. So now we have Shadow and Stalker here. And he likes to go invisible, but we have the power of RPG mechanics and we can just walk on to him and find out where he is. <laughs> Making it the most pointless <laughs> power of all time. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Right. And he's down for the count. Goodbye, buddy. Alright. And there we just got So well, now we're going to we're going to head to a cut road from Kingdom Hearts 1. Ooh. Yep. This world's cut from K1, but they brought it back in K2. So we're going to, uh, Light. so there's an SOS signal sent from Disney Castle, and we're hoping King Mickey is here. I mean, at least we're finding Heartless here. Yeah. And of course, since King Mickey might be here now, Donald wants to do some work. It's I that the route right thunders. now is when his performance review is, so really going all out with this. You know... He valid for that, you know? You work your hardest when the boss is looking. That's right. <laughs> right and I don't blame way. him at all. That's what I do. Alright, so we are going to do a little strategy. So Mini has a small hitbox and you can actually abuse the collision here and push the mouse. Which speeds up this section a lot. Hell, that was a really good push. <laughs> told me to get a move on. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't. Yeah, we're not gonna wait for. Her. Unfortunately, we cannot do that mechanic here. So that mechanic was actually only just discovered a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I think. Let's go. Nice. I remember when it was first discovered. This way. And all we do, nice. we call her over. Come on, then we use the power this of friendship. Way. Let's go. Nice. So, Mini has a uh, what we this like way. to call a blood blood. Let's go. Yes, if she gets hit, she will this go way. into bloodlust mode and start throwing Let's orbs go. everywhere. Everyone gets an orb. And this it way. is very slow, which is why we don't like it. Let's go. I mean, we like her attitude, like the spunk, like where her heart's at. We don't like the speed of which she's moving. Let's go. Let's. Unfortunately, there's no walls here this for us way. to abuse, so we have to do Let's this go. the long Let's. way. This way. Maybe We're someone will find a way there, there. There. I mean, I guess technically it is this possible way. to push her. Just, I don't... Let's go. That would be it's really, really hard. Difficult. That would be... A, yeah, really it's hard. difficult. That would be really hard to do. You have to be frame perfect. Like pixel, not frame perfect, pixel perfect. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. Go back to Hollow Bastion. Link up with our boy Merlin. Yep, so we're asking, we we're fell into Merlin because we want to ask why these thorns are in here. Merlin said, gee, I don't know, go figure it out. And this is why we needed money. That ring costs and someone, 300 and we need two of them. Now it is very easy to that ring do? Go ahead. It is very easy to Actually, what is the uh, what's the ring do? Um, it gives us um, strength. Oh. Strength and two AP. So during the whole run, I've been picking up chests, which go. gives me points to add more abilities. So that ring adds two uh, ability points. So I bought two of them, so now I got a total of four. Okay, nice. And it is very easy to accidentally buy ethers instead of those rings there. <laughs> yes, I know. The hard way. The hard way. And we picked up our boy Chicken Little a few worlds back. 
And now we're about to use them. Yeah, like I said, we, everything is going to get used at Let's some go. point. Oh. So Chicken Little, if you're at a certain distance from, between him and your enemies, they will they'll pull them into you. It's great for crowd yep. control. That is nice. Yep. And we also have fire, which is a nice uh, area back, so... So you can hit multiple enemies at once. See, it operates a lot differently than the original Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a uh, chicken little. No, I meant the fire. Oh, the fire. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I no, think in the first one, one yeah, it's a you, shot, right? It'll basically blizzard but hot. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing windows. We're doing uh, a little bit of a weird order here, but that's only to maximize our total particular drive form. Every time we summon Chicken Little, uh, it, goes, it goes down, so we do it just to maximize it, get out of everything else. Alright, so these are one of the very two enemies in the game that not really, sort of like a DM, where they are invulnerable for a period of time. Yeah, so while they're doing the honking thing and revving up, they're actually invulnerable. But once they start uh, moving towards you, then they are vulnerable again. So you do have a short window in which you can attack. Unfortunately, they, um, they are also vulnerable to Chicken Little's whistle as well. That is, it's a nice uh, exploit to just Make them moving closer. Yeah, no, no, that, that's cool. Yeah. If you don't have Chicken Little, if anyone that plays casually can tell you, no Chicken Little and those cars, you're going to have a real bad day. And here we are fighting about, uh, how many stories we say about five, six stories up in there? Yeah, something like that. Scaffolding. This is not OSHA approved, so if you work for OSHA, please close your eyes. It's your only warning. <laughs> I mean, I've already seen some construction workers do some wild things, so. I mean, this, given this right. age, the late 20s, early 30s, there are no regulations. Didn't. Yeah, right? That was right. Yeah. Alright, so we had a little vortex there that kind of pulled everything in, so we're actually gonna reach that black hole a little bit. And now we're gonna use Trinity Limit. There we go. Look at that. Easy flat. Alright, so now that we fought through, we're going to fight. So we're going to fight Pete, but unlike Pat Pete, uh, Pete from the future has come back to reclaim its position as the main protagonist of Disney. And we gotta put him. But Kingdom Hearts of Present is owned by the mouse, and he does not like that at all. So he has sent us to, as a cease and desist. <laughs> so this is gonna, you know, hit a few barrels back at him. Again, there is no OSHA to worry about. So throwing uh, trap garbage at um, ferry workers, totally legal. Alright, well that one, yeah, you do got Fortunately, you do have to pay attention to that because you can get knocked off. And I'm assuming that just hurts a lot and not worse. Nah, no, nah, you just, just get knocked off. Yeah. 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 So you'll see him do a couple of pauses in between hits. Um, if you're in the middle of a combo and that pops up, well, mm -hmm. Thor likes to really wind up its attack. So, yeah, <laughs> oh, very tough. I tried to, try to risk it for the biscuit and it didn't go well. What's that for? Alright, now we have Cat Peep versus Future Peep to see what see who our favorite uh, protagonist is going to be. And it does not look very good for Future Peep here. So he's going to try to change up the scene a little bit here, and we're going to be slight dash to hit that bowling ball right back to him for some extra damage. There we go. Right. It's like a modern FPS player, the way he keeps blaming the <laughs> Max. What is he doing here? What 
Hey, sometimes it is the match. <laughs> uh, that's what we, that's a nice little uh, transition to hide the loading screens. Very creative, actually. Yeah. So, you want to think it because K2 right. never really built itself as like top of the line graphics, but it actually pushed the capabilities of the PS2 to its max with some of the stuff um, that goes on behind the scenes. Well, that's one of the things they did, like those quick scene transitions. They had to find creative ways to get around them. Uh, later, we'll see a thousand heartless that would fight, which really pushed the PS. Um, back in the day, <laughs> would have pushed the PS2 to its max. So just now, we got one of the best magics in the game and another drive form called Wisdom Form. Which will consume Donald now. And when we consume Donald, our magic stat gets a boost increase. So when you say consume, what do you mean? Consume. Oh, it means Donald and oh, that, that man's dinner. Mutate, yep. Yep. We dinner. just absorbed him, absorbed his power. The power of friendship, of course. For legal yeah, yeah, reasons. It's basically like a fusion with uh, Goku and Vegeta. Okay, that makes, yeah. But instead of Goku and Vegeta, it's, you know, Donald and Thora. Let's just say Thor's got that duck in him. Where are you taking? <laughs> Alright. Well, we got another forest fight here, and we're going to use Chicken Little once again. That's something in the game, probably. I can imagine. Well, it just clearly see how much time this saves by forcing <laughs> everything to come to you. Yep. Good crowd control, good crowd control. Also, we're changing the music. We've clearly switched locations again. We are in uh, <laughs> Port Royal. Pirates of the Caribbean. I always, you know, again, new game off and on for 20 years. I still could just call this world pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't, I just can't stop. All right, so we have to get Will's permission to leave here. Yep, if you don't talk to him, you can't leave on shit. So, a fun okay. mechanic you can do in this game, you can actually, if you don't want to fight these, these um, harvests here, you can actually go into the ship, come back out, um, go back to your destination, and you'll never have to fight them. But in this run, we do oh. fight them because it is actually about the same amount of time, but we get more XP and money from it. Okay. Very clean menuing, by the way. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Give me strength. So now we're going to come up to another minute for a fight. In this fight, we are aiming for money. These cards drop, I think, 10, so that's what we need. And so the more if we can defeat, the better. The one thing that this game does not do a good job of telling you is that these parts are actually very vulnerable to magic. Um, these have a throwaway line of touching about they'll use their magic on you, but that doesn't really mean, give you much of a hint. Um, if you had to guess, how much more damage do you think magic does than normal hits to pirate? If you had to guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to say four times? Uh, close. Uh, two and a half times damage. Two and a half multiplier. Okay. That is still a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and again, the game does the bare minimum to even hit to you that, that you're to use magic. They just kind of expect you to find it out on your own. Let's see what we look at. Money again because we might be down bad. Oh yeah, KX has been. I know. I I couldn't believe it. I was looking. I was like, man, I was in. I still in KX. Well, there is still stuff I'm learning about the game as I run it. Oh yeah, the mechanics in this game run like, very it's insane. Deep. Like this game is really like positioning based. So like, if your position is not uh like perfect or like somewhat perfect, like it can mess up like the whole fight. Alright chat, well, how old were you 20 years ago when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out? Don't make me think about this. I want to hear it everyone. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'm 
crazy. I think a lot of it was crazy. A lot of the top players in um in the category for this, I think either weren't born yet or um, were very young when the page two came out. Didn't have to suffer do vanilla like Kingdom Hearts 2. No dodge roll, no limit form, no data <laughs> organization fights. <laughs> Speaking of eight, I love it. Big little caught him over. Another move we just got aerial spiral. Another good air combo. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, so aerial spiral is great because not only are air combos faster, but aerial spiral also adds some more damage to it. So that's a couple of hits the time you jump up and hit. And if we hit it fast enough, there we go. So we always want to hit that barrel before the rocket falls on us. Yes. If not, those sky pirates will gang up on a barrel and just start hitting it. And I think. Probably about like four or five hits, the barrel explode, and you gotta start the whole thing over. Oh yeah, that is the thing too. So there are a couple of uh, force fights in this game where you have to stop the enemies from destroying the MacGuffin. Oh my, I've been playing Randall so much, I was like, why did he skip that last, <laughs> the last set of boxes? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and now we fight our boy Barbosa. There we go. So we gotta bring him into the light, and just like the other pirates, if he's in the shadow, he is immune. Oh. And with this fight, we can't let Jack die. Yep, if Jack dies, it is GG's. Start again. Game over. And let me tell you, Jack also loves running into danger and, and it can't have the blood left. There we go. So we can use Reflect. Uh, by far the best spell ever made in any Kingdom Hearts game. It's so good, they took it out of every future iteration of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Uh, now having Reflect in Kingdom Hearts 3 was a struggle for me. I was like, oh my god, how do I play this game? They have a, they have, you have your little barrier. It's your offer, you have a little barrier that you can do a little bit of splash damage with, but not the same. Alright, so now we're gonna go to Agra, bruh. And we got another force fight here. And again, um, like, all, like a lot of other force fights in this game, you can actually death the beast. Which is actually the quickest way to get through it. Let them hit you a bit. Well, okay, once your health gets about a third, we move on with your life. Oh, wow, seven ether. Seven or six? No, it's L6, L6, yeah. Yep, that's actually good, so we should be okay. Now, you're for... probably wondering why he's not in any drive form yet. Um, if your party members are in a room where they're standing around, you can't go into a drive form that requires the party member to be. So here's our first look yep. of wisdom form, and they got a cool movement called Quick Run. And with some of the uh, dry forms for the uh, for Sora, if you level the dry form up a bit, you'll get the movement in base Sora. Yeah, so if we can get, for example, for the quick run, if we can get it to what is it, level three, we'll get. Uh, we, yep, we will get quick run ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then every two levels you get in the form, you'll get another um, stage of that movement. So if you somehow, so if you're on casual playthrough, if you're to get um, wisdom form all the way to its maximum level of seven, Sora will have quick run volume three, in which she will move halfway across the map each time. And now it's got quick run gotta, one, but it's still the fastest way to get through it. Now we gotta assist our boy Abu in putting the diamond in the slot. So, but just like we had pushed the mouse, you can actually push Abu forward a little bit. And if you do it right, you can skip a whole thing. 
the whole way. There we go. I'm I'm still trying to like learn how to move and like get him like controlled while I'm in wisdom form. Like in base aura, it's like actually pretty easy, but in wisdom form, like you glide as your like base movement. So it's kind of different. <laughs> And here's another uh, part of uh, forcing the uh, Heartless to retaliate. So I shot them once, so he jumps up and do an attack. Yeah. Okay, I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll save your spot for you. A lot of times you will have to find creative ways around. That's one thing I like about it. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a lot of problem solving that comes with it. So if something, yeah, something's not going right, you gotta, gotta dig deep, find your backup strats, hope for the best. Only the strong survive. Might be a little low on wisdom, I see. We'll see. We should die. I believe. So this is actually a very good plot for leveling up wisdom. Because I, don't, I can't remember how many hearts there are in a pop-up. Uh, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. It's, it's just though it's a lot. There we go, and they'll send a die on the splash. That's really good for our wisdom. There we go. Got we got quick, quick run. run, level run, one. That might actually be good, but I'm just going to use this just like be safe. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we'll quick, quick the aerial spiral, and then Donald's first limit that we'll be using. Uh, you'll be very happy to know. What's up? I finally checked, and it shouldn't crash again. <laughs> it shouldn't. It should No, it won't. I just checked it. The thing I'll supposed to do beforehand. That's kind of. Strategy like to call hoping for the best. Okay, so oh, so anti form. So you're talking about anti form Sora. Yeah. So if you so there's a mechanic in the game that's supposed to punish you for abusing dry forms, and that's called anti form. If you go into your dry forms. There's an invisible counter where your anti points go up. After so many, there is a chance that you can uh, go into anti form, and at a certain point, it'll, that chance will be pretty much 100%. That is actually built into a run, and there are points where we will intentionally go into anti form. Yes. And every time you get a new drive form, it gets set back to zero. So since we got wisdom form, like right before we entered, uh, but PR, the drive, uh, the anti points went back down to zero. All right, I'm back. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. And then I think we go into uh, final form. It also reset it back. Mm -hmm. But we won't see. Unfortunately, we will not see final form in this run. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never know. There's a guest appearance for everything. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, foreshadowing? It's like that time I put up that JV might show up to my party. Non-zero chance. <laughs> Did he make it? I, you know what? I think he ha he said he was sorry. He really wanted to come because the party sounded great. But no, he didn't. Fucking traffic. 
know what? Maybe next. He could have shown up though. He could have. There's a non-zero chance. Yep. At the end of the day, that non-zero chance is all we have. I, I see we're back in. We're in Halloween Town now. Halloween Town. Yes. Uh, Speedrunning this game is an absolute trip. I must say that. It's, it's, <laughs> it just feels all over the place. Oh, yeah. But it's okay. So for anti form, it's high risk, high reward, though, because there are certain um, bosses you might accidentally go into anti form with. But it turns out it does a lot. It'll do a lot of damage to them if you know how to use it. So it's not all bad. But then there are other ones where. You have to wait for empty form to drop before you can move on with your life. And here's one of our limits for Jack called Dance Ball. Yes. It does a lot of damage. Probably one of those, a lot of damage. It's a little powerful limit outside of Duck's Flare. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it gathers them. So, I mean, uh, Dance Call, it'll bring them all to you and then you just go crazy on them. I'll tell you, I think, I mean, Dance Call. I'm not close. That dance hall. It's one house. I'm not close, but yeah, that, yeah, dance hall is really good. Yeah. Right, and well, we left Christmas and entered Halloween. All right, chat. So I have a question for you guys. Goofy. Is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? You can only choose one. I don't want to hear anyone say it's both. <laughs> But what if it is? Uh, I need you to not be a coward and choose one. <laughs> See, there's a difference between I'd rather be on, you know, not just this isn't cowardice. This is me being right. Uh, but if I had to choose one, back off. Yeah, take this. no, not gonna do it. Yeah. Nope, I'm not taking the bait. <laughs> You're not gonna call me a coward and think I'm gonna take the bait. Okay, no, no, that's fine. Go ahead and sit there and be comfortable <laughs> with your life. That's fine. No one's judging you. I will. So the boss right now we're fighting is Prison Keeper. We got Lock, Shock, and Barrel, the three baby kids. And you no, know, we're trying to get rid of them. You know what? I will die on this. <laughs> I will die on the hill that Die Hard is not a Christmas. It's an American Christmas movie. It's an American movie for sure, not Christmas. No, I mean like an American Christmas movie, as in it's what like in the same way certain games are like American Christmas games, where they have absolutely nothing to do with the holiday itself, but they'll make one obscure reference. They're like, "Oh, this happened on December 25th." Which is why it's not a Christmas movie. Oh, but what are American Christmas games? Uh, there's a game called like uh. Die Hard Trilogy. Oh, yeah. That's, that's my fault. I set the bar too low. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known better. No, there's plenty of other games in there that, that fit that style. Uh, there's an old Dreamcast game called Blue Stinger that has absolutely nothing to do with Christmas. But it takes place on Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas. And then there's another game called, like, Lifeline. I forget. I think it was, was it Konami who did Lifeline? That takes place on Christmas Eve going into Christmas. Yeah. There's a plethora of games that actually do that. You know what? Trolls 2 and has nothing Parasite to do with Trolls. Eve as well. Trolls 2, nothing to do with Trolls. That's right, away you go. But it's a troll game. Oh, I'll talk about the movie. Oh, yeah, the movie, my bad. Wait, I know Troll, that's what he was like. He just you ate go. them. Gonna and now they're going to eat me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, we're going to, we're playing golf here with Koogie Boogie. Yeah. Yeah, this fight is just straightforward. You can't speed this up no more, no less. It's just straightforward. Hit the boxes, get him down off his uh, thing. You hit him, he goes back up, and reset. Well, Nothing you can do about that. And there that. are three phases, too. So, phase one, he's a coward, he goes back in. Somehow his whole thing repairs itself. I don't know how that happens. On demand builders. On demand builders. Hope you like the boogie yeah. gift. The whole of Santa's workshop in there fixing them up. <laughs> That's right. Where you go? Here. Hold it. 
Shout out to the Blue Stinger fans just woke up in chat. Okay. okay. I thought there was only five of us that knew about that game. Oh, there are literally ones of you. Dozens of us. Hope you like the oogie gift I picked out for you. Hope you like the oogie gift you picked out for you. Sorry. Absolutely not. There you go. We get to see Dance Call again. Yeah. Worth it just to get rid of those. Those are two of the most annoying enemies in the game, by yeah. the way. Because those they blue knockers will suck you in and then they will hit you. You'll they'll do like 50 hits on you. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, they are a bunch of baby kids. <laughs> yup, the baby kids. I think that's the last we'll see of them though, throughout the run. Yeah. Fortunately, we <laughs> won't have to worry about Lock, Chuck, and Barrel ruining Christmas again. Ruining Christmas or Halloween, one of those two, because it can only be one or the other. Yeah, so it's RNG if he's gonna move left or right there. And it is. And on this next one, too, it's going to be RNG whether he moves yeah. to the right once or twice. You just try dodging in. That's right, away you go. Good RNG, he just moves to the middle, we go to the middle, call it a day. Bad, he goes to the middle, juke me out, and goes back to the right. It's all right. The RNG manipulation we did at the beginning will make sure that he stays in the middle. Oh, look at that. You just try dodging this. That's right, away See, that's why RNG manipulation is too powerful. <laughs> Alright, and one more hit here, and he'll fall down. And we just back him. There we go. We're gonna smack his face. Oh, stretch? Oh, oh. Uh, I see Jack ain't coming to play that time. Nothing yeah, Jack. more gratifying than doing the final hit on an, an annoying boss. Huh? <laughs> yes. So we just got We've a magic there. called a Magnet, what Jen was talking about, and we will be using that right now. Yep, we're about to on this visit our old, our old city. There you go. After we hop around in space, the so good thing about space is you can abuse gravity and hop around. And this will be the first time we'll be Are seeing we genie stuff. Of course, we use everything in the game. Oh, so Genie Chat's really cool. So what's going to happen is he's going to use Magnet. That's going to pull everyone closer. And Magnet has no, this, this property where it doesn't hit on the enemy. But if you can hit, bounce them out of Magnet and back in, it'll do multiple hits on them. The one thing you will see, if not this fight later, there you go. You see how much damage Ooh. that's doing. So not only is it doing damage from Genie's hit, it is also doing damage each, on each of those hits. By running right back into the mag match. Magnet. Why am I having such a hard time with that word? Yeah. Over and out. And Dan Castanoletta is over and out. And you can also use uh, Magnet uh, Trinity threats as well. Yep. So with Trinity, they have something that acts as like a magnet as you pull them forward and it pushes them back. So I did that, and they was getting pushed into the magnet and out of the magnet, which you see their health went from 100 to zero real quick. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Genie strat, Trinity strat, um, combined with magic, very powerful. And we just got the best form in the yeah. game, limit. Mm -hmm. And we are at the what's this? Mid late game, you're almost yes. there. Uh, almost halfway through, people. Oh, no. right, so now we're gonna go to uh, the first climax of the game, um, Hall of Bastion 3. In a couple days, we'll do We'll pick up a couple of AP boosts um, on the way to uh, check out the game. So. We're, what's happening is we've landed here, we're going to talk to a very mopey cloud, and it turns out that page 2 has dropped on PC, so Sora is rushing to get to the computer lab 
So you can play some good old cage too. That is the story, it is canon, don't question me, I've been playing this for over 20 years. And you'll actually see him do a couple of uh, fires in the air, uh, that's what we like to call magic canceling here. So you can actually extend the range of your jump by using magic in the middle of the air. Or a pro skater now, or a pro skater. We always appreciate the, the speed tech in these games. And there is the tower from the first Kingdom Hearts game. You might have recognized it. We got one outside it, and then we're gonna pick up one more in the hallway here somewhere. This place is like a maze, by the way. You've never done it before. Yeah. When I first started, I was like, "Where is this thing at?" You know, it took me. I don't know wherever chest it. It still took me several times to memorize the hallway. Yeah, this hallway is tricky. Like, you make one wrong turn, you're like, oh, wait, I gotta go back, and then you just lost. The thing that separates Cage 1 from, or Cage 2 from Cage 1 is all the Final Fantasy characters are a lot edgier and wear black. So, we are now gaming. Uh, it turns out it wasn't Kingdom Hearts, it was an old arcade game called Tron. Not what we were hoping for, but still a pretty fun game nonetheless. That's the one with the bikes, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That is the mm. one. My dad, uh, I've never seen Tron, but my dad said, apparently people love it. My dad said it was the worst movie he ever saw, but the game was very good. Yeah. I've never played a game. Yeah. I've, I played it, they have an arcade, a uh, couple arcade bars out here. It's very interesting. There's some ver It's usually the opposite when you hear things like a, a movie and a game combo. I don't know, but there are people who live by this movie swear that Tron's like one of the great. So I don't know who to believe. Uh, and we, uh, so we have used our magic splash effect. So really you have to follow one of the boxes around and you have to do a combo on it. Um, what you can do instead at faster is you can go into a drive form and it'll hit any box in the vicinity, including the one you're looking for. Yep. As long as you're close, you can't be on the other side of the room. You are on the other side of the room and you do that, most likely you'll have to restart the mini game again. They go like, all right, here's the box again, brother, and try to find oh, me again. And you cannot right. exit that game until you find the right box either. If the timer hits zero, mm -hmm. you just restart the mini game over. I found that out the hard way once. The last time. That was so unfortunate. Yeah. Now we got Sora on the bike. Uh, the game was kind of like this. You know, you might have played a kind of a version of the Tron game. Um, if you ever ever played a game like on those like old websites you probably went to in math class where you have to, where you draw a straight line and you can't hit one of the straight lines and the enemies can't hit it, otherwise they'll die. Um, that is very similar to what the Tron arcade game is like. Huh. Yeah, there's one where you have to, you're not cutting a box in half. So there's a very, sorry, back to this game, very cool mechanic where <laughs> if the enemies are using a barrier, you can actually go through those pillars without taking damage. I don't know. That is a nice failsafe to stop you from getting, you know, locked into taking damage. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know if I don't know if that was intentional by the devs or it's just an oversight, but it is a very weird mechanic that I only just learned like a month ago. Yeah. New tech? Uh, no, it's very old tech. I had no idea how the speedrun. I just thought that some of those didn't deal damage to you. I didn't know how the speedruns were doing oh. it. I just, so I should say, <laughs> I just learned why that happened like a okay. like a month or two ago. Makes sense. Yeah, on the speed runs you'll see and they'll abuse it. Yeah. Let's see how long Alright, so we that's how long is you how old you were when it came out. Alright. How old were you when you saw your first cage two speed run? I, wanna, I was today years old. I wanna hear a chat. Really? How old were you? <laughs> I think I was in college? Oh, back when you got to do it on, on actual hardware. All right, and we're going to use a lot of our AP boosts, which allows us to equip abilities here. So now we are on our way to do some more um, 
experience exploit. So, what's gonna happen? At least I think we do it here. Yeah, yeah, we do it. Okay, good. Alright, for like two levels. Yeah, we're gonna get a couple levels here. Now we're using Genie. So, we just got Master Form, and Master Form Genie is unstoppable. Ruthless, there you go. And look at that. So, we're gonna get one here, and then, so we have to hit all three of those screens within the time limit. Normally, this might, usually takes a little bit of time, but thanks to Genie here and Magnet, no problem for our boy side. Bring it right in. Yep. Yep. There we go. We're gonna get one. There we go, it's all good. Uh, uh, you should be open to, uh, yeah, get some experience uh, boost. Yeah. We're good, we're good. There you go. Easy, no problem. There So now that we're under halfway, okay, we're under halfway health, so we'll go there. Oh, yeah, we've been turned off. What's the name? So these are like just vanilla XP grinder right here. Okay. Very close. I'm watching the XP just next level just go down slowly. There we go. We just hit it. But we are at level 22. We just got some more strength. And we are going to go beat up on a couple of other enemies. Got uh, a bad program in the system. You know, we got to get that fixed. Oh, yeah. So I don't know what you guys, uh, anytime I have a very hostile program on my computer, I do the right thing and take a blunt object and whack it until it stops. It's the only way to make sure that it's gone. Yep. Norton is not doing enough. Norton actually help? Has anybody had any good experience? <laughs> <laughs> Norton Listen, help me with anything. Norton's never helped, but hitting an electronic device has fixed it more than once for me. I could agree about that. I could agree. I've seen a video recently of a dude who had a broken TV, and out of frustration, he smacked it, and it, the screen fixed. You know, it could be fake because nothing is real anymore. People stage everything, but... Just a testament. That sometimes you hit things and they work properly. Yeah, the old CRT TV. There's actually a term for it. Um, where I can't remember the term is, but yeah, when you hit them, it actually uh, there's a chance it did fix fix it. So that not unbelievable. It's a CRT. It's not um yeah. No, it was a flat screen. Flat screen. I don't know. It may or may not be. I'm not sure. They'll make them like they used to. It's over. Okay, and we're going to use one of Donald Blimmons called Fantasia. So he likes very patriotic, has a lot of fireworks, and each one of those does a little bit of extra damage. Yes. And combined with sort of hitting him, you'll help him go down probably about twice as fast. Pretty quick, pretty quick. For cut of maintenance, I think that is what it's called. <laughs> yes, that's what it's called, for cut of maintenance. Is that when you like fix your drums or something like that? Uh, I guess so, yeah, because you hit drums and you hear you're hitting the TV. Yeah. And we'll be seeing our boy Chicken Little once again. Gather. My sweet baby Chicken Little. Alright, so we'll start this guy to build up our drive form. So we can pull Chicken Little back out. So summons cost three uh, drive points. So we're almost there, so, and we fill up our drive faster when we have no magic. But so we just, we like to use that mechanic. Okay, we're learning some tech. There we go. We'll beat up on a couple yeah, of, uh, punch. <laughs> yeah. Duh. There we go. Let's Nobody. Dust. Nobody. Which is weird because yeah. nobodies have no hearts, but heartless have no bodies. <laughs> Again, it's it's like the Iceland Greenland thing. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 
and always confusing when, and you, when I, you get it you get it and i'm uh, somehow led to believe that it was planned out and not made up as they went along writing this series you know, I'm, they probably didn't plan it out. It, it actually was not. So originally in the first Kingdom Hearts, Disney had no plans for Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, if you've ever seen the secret ending to Kingdom Hearts, another part of another story, Nomura basically put that in to show Disney execs, and it'll be a concept of what a second game might look like. And they approved the second game, um, and that's why they approved the second one. Huh. Yeah, because at the time they didn't know how it would be received. So there's no reason for them to think that it would be a cult, like a huge, huge fan favorite like it is now. Oh, huh. fun little King Hearts 2 history. Back. All right, so we get to... Yep. Dance, Our boy Dimmick is back. And this time, he has only 50 of those instead of 120. So now it's you. It's over. Well, he's gonna have, so he's gonna play a sick guitar solo here while you go through and fight all his water clones. Oh, perfect. So he's Oh, dancer nobodies are the worst to fight because when they glow, you just have to run for them and hope for the best. And they will glow for a long time. They are relentless. So here we're gonna see limit form for the first time. So we're going to go ahead and use Comet, and we don't want him to go back to him to find more water clones. So around this health, he could go back to it, so we're going to whack him before he gets a chance. There we go. And now we're going to take both of our best that. friends, Donald and Goofy, with us, both of them, because they're immortal. Oh no, Goofy's gone. Oh, Goofy, no. He's dead. All right, uh, or if where Goofy died then, instead of, instead of grieving, we decide to just leave him there and move on without him. I'm gonna have to take your word for it. The fact that the cutscenes have been skipped, it's just, you know, that is canon. you could have told me. We didn't, didn't give them a burial or anything, just left them there and continued on with their lives. It is true. It is ruthless what they do to Goofy. But we take revenge right. doing what Goofy loves best. Hitting things. <laughs> Once again, I truly, truly love the uh, the movement tech in the battles in these games. It's a, yeah, a nice improvement over what one Kingdom Hearts 1 did. This is really weird. Yeah, so between Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3, Kingdom Hearts 2 with Dalla Dalla has the best. I mean, just the amount of options that you have that are... I mean, it's not like it's just one one tool for each fight. No, there are several ways you can get to fight. And it's kind of... You can tailor your gameplay based on what kind of comfort level you have and, and your, what style you like playing. I'm sorry, did we lose Goofy and Game Tifa? Um, uh, so these are actually Final Fantasy fights, so we'll have all the Final Fantasy characters with us for these next, what, one, two, three, four fights. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to say, I think I, I kind of see this as a win. <laughs> yeah. Watch till we get the Cloud. Cloud goes crazy. Cloud well, has the blood really blood don't like it. Actually, uh, at least at the beginning, it's, there we go. But we have to hurry up and do splash damage there because Cloud will come down. And it doesn't actually kill them, it just knocks them back, which makes them even harder to get, because now we have to run across the field. Yeah. Again, certain characters, um, we love where the heart's at, but, uh, they have a blood left that doesn't necessarily help us. So, important to note that summons, you have to have your party members in order to use them, unless you're doing, like, eight those will count. Yeah. And you need two summon, two party members, right? Yes. Uh, depending on which form. For drivers, Wait, yeah. you said for summons? Yeah, for summons. For summons, or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is Goofy breathing again? Yep. yep. Goofy's back. He's it alive. turns out he just took a nap. He didn't feel like fighting. I can't blame him. I've done that before. Pretended to be. Yeah. This is it. Right. Make it right, so, Battle of a Thousand Heartless, one of the best 
most memorable sequences in any Kingdom Hearts game. So the fastest way to do this, we're gonna find one of those surveillance robots, and we're gonna yeah. hope he gives us Sparkle Ray. Make him our buddy. All right, people. Wait, there is a way. Put your uh, spark, put your could. oh no on Sparkle Ray in the chat, please. Sparkle <laughs> Ray in the chat. This is it. But a way to like, you know, uh, revenge it or make him do the move is we use thunder. Since our thunder is like so low, it's not gonna kill him. It's just gonna give us the RC for it. Mm -hmm. So if they do that little swirly thing, there is you could get the uh, reaction command out of the swirly thing. But for me right now, it's difficult to get it, so I still use thunder. Okay. And there's none other night. Oh boy. All right. Now he's have to run around and swipe yep. through. We're still looking for no, him. no, we're yeah. looking for him. We're looking for him. We're yep. looking for a buddy. So we're essentially, for a, buddy. Um, a lot of the heartless you see in the background aren't actually there. They're tiny little PNG pictures, um, which is one of the ways that the PS2 at the time saved on memory. Although, Smart. if you if you ever mod your game, and there are mods you can use um, that replace adults, it actually makes it a little bit easier to see, but we don't do that in any then because that's for cowards. This is it. <laughs> there. It's over. No, uh, no, the gladiator this is faster. It's over. <laughs> Back off. Alright, so we're coming up on the end here. So this is the fastest way to get through it if it. you don't have Magnera and like 50 ma um, magic. <laughs> Just completely wiped out the whole background. Yep. And the PS2 hardware thanks for it. And it's one less. Whack kill. Thank nice. you. Easy nice. clap. Easy clap in the chat, everybody. Nice. Oh, that's like actually, oh, oh. oh, actually pretty good RNG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was I guess decent. Sometimes it was help. It can be a very much of a pain because there are times where it just doesn't want to give you the reaction command. I've died several times in practice runs and in actual runs to that fight, and it's like a pain. Oh yeah, because if it goes too long without it, those but again, there's a thousand of them. They will gang up on you and just start hitting you. They're relentless. Yeah, it don't sound fun at all. Uh, it is not fun. In fact. There's nothing fun about this game at all. It is serious business. <laughs> so beat past the drip. But first, there we go. Going to do some room save there. So yeah, with that, uh, we just had to get our what's it? Oh damn, we had to get our uh, save work back because uh, we're in second visits, and once you do all the second visits, you don't have none of your save works again. <laughs> And soon, we will actually be changing our laid out for Rumbling Rose. Ooh, what's Rumbling Rose do? It rumbles, roses. So, the difference between critical mode and beginner mode. In crit, you start with a ability called Finishing Plus, which is very, very helpful. Beginner, you either got to level up, I forgot what level it's on, or you rock out with Rumbling Rose, which we get right now. Yeah, Finishing Plus is very powerful because Finishers, while they add a lot of uh, revenge value, um, your Finishers do a lot more damage than your regular hits in the combo. Doing that door is necessary, by the way, because you always want to knock before you come in. There you go, and we got Rumbling Rose now. And that room warp we did earlier, it's about to come into play now. And we, oh, we got nah, a nah, flash nah. step too. So we have Slide Dash, which lets nah, you hit enemies from nah. about halfway across the map. And we also have Flash Step, which very quickly will bring you in. <laughs> oh. You're back. Yeah. Once again, you blink and you're in a completely different world. Yeah, so normally, casual playthrough, you might go through the world all the way. Nope, mm -hmm. not there. You're going to leave them to solve their own problems for a little bit. So we just get this cutscene, but basically what happened is 
he said, boy, I'm really sad about this whole Organization 13 thing. And Sora said, okay, Beast, you're a grown man now. Get over it. I'm going to leave now because I can see you're having some trouble. Uh, good luck. I'm going to be a pirate. What a friend. <laughs> what a friend. He really is a friend. Again, that's what happens. Beast called him Roxas, and Sora did not take kindly to it. So we have Grim Reaper 1 here. So, a couple things. Again, um, you can use magic on him. Um, it's a really cool fight. So again, the game doesn't really tell you to mention it, but certain um, bigger magic does different effects on him. So, obviously Blizzard freezes him. Um, Thunder will actually stall him out for a little bit. And then Fire... Uh, will make them kind of run around in pain. So we want to... I, I, go ahead. I have a question. Are you controlling, like, their specials, or do they just do them on their own? Uh, which specials? Like when Donald does the fireworks. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty Yeah, those that. are limits. Oh, yeah, okay. we, we do those. Yep, oh, with the master form Ooh. scratch. It takes the master to pull off that. That's <laughs> bad. Alright. Because I was very confused. I'm like, he's timing this very well. Like, what's going on? I'm not used to... I'm not used to Donald doing or hearing about <laughs> Donald doing good things at all. Oh, no. Donald does something good. It's because we manipulated it. <laughs> We're taking control of him at that point. Shout out to RNG manipulation. Get off to zombie mode. Gather. Alright. We're gonna get rid of this one. So that has one of the coins. So we need to find a way to get all the coins back to break the curse. So there's one, we need, there's three more of them out there somewhere. We have to, we have to sail across, all across the bloody seven seas. Um, fortunately, we can just go to one particular island and get all three of them. Within time limit. Yeah. Within the if time you're limit. slow about it. Wait a minute, part. Again, don't touch, don't touch that scary little thing back there. You don't wanna, you don't want those problems. So there's one. And there's two more hiding around here somewhere. Very easy to find. It's just that second box right here on the right. And it's going to be in the same spot every time. Mm -hmm. So this next room, you have to defeat a bunch of pirates. And then wait after that, you it shows up. Or we can just Ooh. skip it all together and go to the third room. Yep. Where we don't have to do any of that. Gather. Huh. Again, I did not know about that until I started playing this game, like, seriously. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody. It'll make sense. The like, casual the play through ideas. You see enemies. <laughs> yep. We gotta get. We gotta get this, this exp, man. <laughs> yes, that is a visual mod. Story is wearing rocks. Rip. Alright, so now we have Grim Reaper 2. Casually, this is the most annoying boss in the game, because the game, again, doesn't explain how these mechanics really work. But it's very simple, so if you, you can freeze him, and I'll keep him there. Thunder drops the most coins, and then Fire will have him run around. We will not be using Fire, because that is slow. But we will be abusing Wizard and Thunder with them. Um, after you get all the coins in there, he'll, he'll go back to his Grim Reaper 1 phase, until he hits the gate. So here we go. We'll we'll reflect twice. We'll do the reaction command. Hit him up in the air. As he comes down, we'll lock on and hit two thunders on him. Boom, boom. Jump over the chest here. Freeze him. That's not good. Maybe. Again, very annoying. Uh, yeah, that freeze seems like it has to be kind of accurate. Yeah. It's not yeah. the same spread shot as it is in the previous game, yeah. Correct, yeah. In fact, and since he's up in the air a little bit, sometimes you might have to jump, too. All right, we're good now. Holy. All right, now we can whack him. It is very gratifying when you whack him. So if anyone at home is wondering, like, how do you deal with this thing? Because I can tell you, I did not know how to deal with them until I was tied. Uh, when he's in the group, when he's in his, I don't know, when he's in his mood, he just kind of, uh, 
hit thunders on them and freeze and just off click between those two. Freeze them, hit a couple thunders, freeze them, back and forth. That's a good casual way to do it. Here we get to see one of my favorite strats in the entire game. One, you can just kind of hide out from his EM here. He'll go into master form. We'll wait for him to become vulnerable. And it's Thunder City. This is actually the strat that got me into speedrunning this game. When I seen it like a couple of years ago, I was like, wow, that's a nice ass strat. So I was like, yeah. Let me pick Jump this up. Freeze them, drop those coins in. And then we get to whack them. There we go, we hit a comet. There you go. One more combo should do it. Oh, well, if you just decide to be a coward. There we go. One more. There we go. Wow. Nice. And we got the best, uh, the best limit in the game, Flare Force. Nice. Flare Force became the best limit once it made the jump to 60 FPS in PS4 and PC. That was a really nice. Hey, I can see casually how that boss would have been, <laughs> especially without any explanation of how the yeah. magic mechanics work. It, yeah, that, that would be a Oh, yeah, casually, it takes you about 10, 15 minutes to get through it. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> I did not, until, again, until I was taught how it works, I had no clue. Let's go. And is that because I refused to read any of the instructions? No. It's the game fault. Huh. The game doesn't, you know? Put it in a neon sign and have it hang over his head, then yeah, absolutely game fault. I think the game kind of expected you to figure out all oh, of this magic does something, let me use it. But it, it didn't work out that way. Because even if you are casually going going through, you kind of really don't. Yeah. It, it still takes a lot of experimenting. The kind of experimenting you don't really want to do in the middle of a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're back in Agrabah. Oh, Zigbar, don't worry, we'll see Zigbar later. This is it. So we have our... Those aren't sorcerers, those are... I can't remember the names uh, of those ones are. I call them sorcerers, sometimes wizards. I'm not really sure what their the, official name the is. The sorcerers are the... Are the no, are them oh, the nobodies, nobody. yeah. yeah. Mm, so each, let's just call them yeah, so wizards. Each nobody is actually controlled by a... Specific organization 13 number. Fun fact. The so sorcerers are Zimnesses, the Samurai are Roxasses. There are. The ones, that, where, the ones that like dance around. Um, Which me dance around? The dancers, there we go. Dancers are Zimnesses. Nobodies. Very casual chase scene, by the way. Oh, yeah, just casual. <laughs> so we're gonna. So, anyway, it's there too far. Somehow Jafar has returned. And he's leaving you right into an ambush. Who would have thought? Gather. Yeah. yeah. So is this entire level section yeah. going to be fought on the magic carpet? Because that's kind of... It cool. is. Car yep. It's carpet section. Except that, unfortunately, there is no um, Grammy-winning ballad to accompany Gather. us. Uh, awards are overrated anyway. Anyway, uh... Um, but this is such a cool mechanic, though. Thor and falling Great. into very obvious ambushes. I'm a more iconic duo. <laughs> well, this one, we gotta use three magics to unlock the door, which is Thunder, Blizzard, and Fire. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the lock-on system um, somehow got worse between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. So, Kingdom Hearts 1, it was very easy to switch your lock-on target. Kingdom Hearts 2, not only is it difficult, it does not tell you how to do it. So, you actually have to hold down R2 and then use your analog stick to cycle through. Yeah, this hmm. is, that is, like, a difficult tech that I'm still, like, learning how to use. But like, I think it's getting better with the yeah. target switching, because it it's manual. Well, it doesn't always work either. Sometimes it just decides, yeah. nah, not doing it. Yeah. No, sometimes it needs a break. I can't blame him. 
So this is basically just like a side scroller. Kill Heartless if you want to. I'm going to because I think I need to hit a certain level right now. I don't know where my low's at. Yep, nice little. I think have a good experience here. Yeah. So don't fret, people who are gummy yeah. fans. We do have an olive roller section that we do. <laughs> and every mechanic is used at least once. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, these bats seem like the least annoying bats that we've seen in any video game. They are too bad, mm -hmm. actually. In fact, you they, haven't seen they, they, brother. they rarely attack you, too, honestly. All things considered, yeah. I at least. Yeah, they be cooling, they be cooling. Yeah, they're pretty chill. I feel bad when I have to whack one sometimes. Oh, is it far in Fortnite? Uh, yeah, a new Fortnite character. Oh, yep, Sword's in Fort don't, Fortnite too. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> they will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you think Disney would ever sell out? money yeah <laughs> not without making sure that they're getting yeah. a, a sufficient cut <laughs> generally what filling out for money entails disney would 100 percent ask to see everyone else's contracts to make sure that they got more than everyone else i would never ask them <laughs> and we just wait here a while and finally we can move on with our lives there you go, swag puzzle piece, easy clap. That was very magical yep, tech right there. 100% run next. Yep, stick around. You got five, staying up full three. We're doing one, we're all in 100% in this game. You'll be up all night. Yeah. We'll yeah, sleep, but you won't. <laughs> we go back to our favorite Halloween town, the Christmas movie or Halloween movie. Uh, which it's only it's still one or the other. I do not respect anyone who says it's both. And we will be putting on Flare Force. We will be seeing Flare Force <laughs> making appearance. Oh this yeah! Morning. Oh, I'm excited for it. But first, we gotta see the baby kids again. <laughs> so. We gotta do some discipline for these kids. They are trying to steal Christmas. So, there we go. We're gonna talk to them. And then we're gonna give them presents. Mm -hmm. And this is a uh, Tiger Woods GTA Tour 04 simulator. Oh, wow. That hit box. What was... It was really fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fast. Uh, now we're set. we at Santa's house. Okay. Yeah. Now we gotta go back to Halloween Town because apparently some presents got sent to Halloween Town that we need back. It's almost like the two are inseparable, right? Mm, I feel like they are separable by about sixty days, almost. Mm -hmm. No, it looks like the towns are attached to me. Uh. You know, like all towns lead back to the hinterlands. Which is what that area is called with all the doors. Hinterland. Alright, people, so if you can, I want you to put some praise in the chat because we're going to need all the RNG help we can get here. <laughs> so boxes can come in one of five sizes. We're hoping for some gold boxes. Um, but we'll see what happens. Alright, let's pray. Alright. Put your prayers up, prayers up. One gold boxes, gold boxes, where are you? Uh, green, okay, we got a green box, not too bad. All the little kids have not learned their lesson, so we have to hit them yeah. to stop. So they will actually hit these boxes around if you let them run the wild. Another mechanic they don't tell you about. Oh no, don't please don't hit that. Oh. Yep, and that's what'll happen. Oh. So we have to settle for the screen box. Oh, don't act like you're the victims here. <laughs> How much does a gold box give? I believe it's. Yeah. yeah 20, 20, 20. It's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. You want, a gold, you want gold boxes and get them. 
they, they don't spawn until later in there. Um, in the like, mini game, anyways. In everybody's favorite fight, experiment. Alright. So, experiment, you don't want to rush right in there because he immediately hits the ground. So, we're going to go into Dolan here. We're going to use Duck Bray and look at that amount of damage. So, now we just have to hit a finisher on him, and that should allow him to break apart. And we're going to immediately block it. It's okay, because we have aerial recovery. And the way that you fill them back together is you want to stand between the experiment and the head piece because it'll throw you, it throws it to the side that you are when you, um, it try, when you do the reaction command. So we go back. There you go. Going back in the gut player and it's just eating the health. There we go. Nice and clean. Oh yeah, it is a nightmare on critical mode, by the way. Alright, so our friend that we abandoned to his feelings earlier, we're gonna go bring a six pack and check up on him. Hopefully he's gotten over his whole divorce thing, but we'll see. Oh wait, wait there is Oh sorry, we gotta buy some stuff. We gotta go see our boy Genie. Oh that's right, we are doing Genie Jafar. I forgot we didn't do this probably goes so fast, I'm over here jumping ahead. <laughs> so also with the carpet mechanics, you have abilities equipped that you normally would equip in like regular as a So with that ability, that's an aerial sweep. We never equipped it, but we do have it. Yeah, the reason why we don't do aerial sweep is because there's a new ability added to final mix called aerial dive which does what aerial sweep does except um from any range and um, from any direction so it's looking so it just gets completely out yeah it's over what are you doing all right and there i like how you're giving him a tummy ache <laughs> oh hey tummy aches are no joke listen yeah, the part can't play through a little tummy ache this is why he doesn't have six brains Oh, they can really put you out of commission. I know that. Nice fight. Nice fight. That's what never happened in Genie the Bar with Jordan. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to bring our boy a six back. See if he's oh. over the whole... I don't know what he'll know. I don't even remember what he'll know about. It's that weird reading from the... Yeah, but it's... Hmm. Huh. What's that? When I think it's all it was telling him, uh... Hey, he's sad. He's immediately falling for it. Like, you're right. I should be sad. I'm not. I'm only barely exaggerating. I'm pretty sure that's what what happened. And it's Kingdom Hearts. We don't question things. Uh, Return to far. I mean, compared to Disney, on the level of Disney sequels, it was not the worst. The animation was absolutely second rate, but the game, but yeah, but the movie itself is not too bad. All things considered. Um, yeah, they had uh, Dan Castellaneta fill in for huge points that movie. Just like in that, it's also Dan Castellaneta, the voice of Homer Simpson, as a uh, genie in Kingdom Hearts Let's 1 and 2 as well. I hope I'm pronouncing his name Where's right. Fun in this? <laughs> all right, so we're resolved in this. So one of the this tougher bosses is in this game, yeah. Hell, casually. There you go. So there's, the, there's the little jump mechanic that you can use here. So he's gonna collect all nine of them. And you notice that he did put on your cheap blades for this one. Oh uh, yeah, I put in a, a, a decisive pumpkin on Valorant. Okay. There you go. That rumbling rose here. There you go. Going. That's not good. Um. Okay. Jumping. I think we can salvage this. There we yeah, go. we can salvage this. There you go. I think I just heard Donald get knocked out. Yeah. 
First time we got into critical move. Yeah, I don't know, that's the game. Alright. Yeah. Nope. Uh, hello? Can hear no, yeah. we're all here though, that's the important thing. We all have each other yeah. and that's all that matters. I'm gonna... Everything there? There we go, okay. I think we're good now. Well, not really. It's fine. No, no. You know what? What's happening? We'll just talk over it because that's our job as commentary. No, the game sounded like coming through copy. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I just warned chat about the audio popping so they got know. Got you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that is our job to talk over this. So now what we got going on here? We got another dude in yes. black with a hoodie yes. on. We don't know who this mysterious figure holding <laughs> the Soul Eater Keyblade that belongs to Riku is. Could it be the organization? Could it be Ansem? Who knows? Who is that wearing Definitely. using Riku's weapon? It couldn't be him, right? No way. Absolutely, Absolutely not. No, no, because Riku looks like Riku. This looks like a person in a cloak. Yeah, this yeah. could be like Jack Sparrow for a They are PG characters and never change clothing, so I'm not really sure who this is. You know what? Didn't we break that trope when we changed outfits and we got out of them, them knee-high shorts yeah. earlier? <laughs> Give me I have short-term memory. Like, that's because we had to get into our anime drift. There's always that scene where the anime character gets the drift. In fact, I think the only... I just thought he was just trying to get out of them tight shorts. The only flaw I can see in this game is that there was not a longer sequence of Sora getting into his drift. I'd be okay spending another half hour of drift. Would you want like an Iron Man setup where he just like, you know, walk into an entire suit? No, I want a <laughs> full transformation. I want every piece of clothing but tickets meticulously shown in detail and Sora putting it on in real time. And then I want a shot of every single character in this game reacting to the new drift. So that I know as an audience member that this is 100% grip. <laughs> Could definitely use a garbage from Goopy. Yeah. I think the audio's fixed again, by yeah, the way. Audio, audio's fixed. Audio's good. Yes. Thank you, Tech. Nice. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for the Wait. All right, we're going to find out who it is, and that was not Riku, so that was, uh, uh no, that was Zigbar. Zigbar. Yeah. Yep. So these nobodies right here are surprised. Zigbar's nobodies. Um, assassins. No. Yeah, I think they're assassins. Snipers. Or snipers. Are they assassins or snipers? Snipers. Oh, I thought they were assassins. Okay. Well, we walked into the throne room and immediately walked out. That's at least the place to march. <laughs> Alright, get a couple hits here and hang on for dear life. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a will on this, this dragon here. And that's what this is? I was confused. Uh, this is Storm, oh, this is Storm Rider. No other things I'll call Storm Riders. Yeah. yeah, that's what his name is. It's to, I think it's based on a dragon in the game. At least that's what they say in the game. They say something. Are those symbols underneath his body? Probably. Yeah. So there, are, if you look at the textures on this game, there's a lot of detail you you would never normally see. There we go. We're gonna do a reflect into that, and that does a lot of Ooh. damage. Hurt. Yep. And now we're gonna hit Duck Flare, the best best limit in the game. Mm. 
That was like a hot knife through butter. Like the way his <laughs> health just just gone. Oh yeah. And Jesus. And so what happened is on 30 FPS, it did the nor its normal thing. It was an okay limit, but there were much better options. In the jump from 60, they fixed everything, but they left that alone. And it basically left twice as it stayed on for twice as long now. Okay. So each one of those rockets doing some chip damage, just adding up look. over an it's extended period of time while you're also dealing damage to it. And yeah, do and it, they do count final hits too, so you can defeat enemies and bosses with just duck clear. That's yep. up. Yeah, so this has been time where I've accidentally hit a boss into an to the air, but <laughs> duck flare still finished them. Nice. So now we are at official end game. All this is boss rush. Oh yep, we got I think it's one well, we got two more forced mob fights and then boss rush. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. That was a long Let's go. Not been a long Let's journey, go. but you know, yeah. we're almost halfway there. No, we skated <laughs> right through it. This time flew through this, honestly. I wonder if we'd be with the cutscenes. We would have probably you know, <laughs> still been Roxas. Oh my goodness. We'd, we'd really have to scrap in. It was so great. It's been so long since I've watched the cutscenes. I don't remember what happened to Mark. Like I said, I feel like I would have the same amount of knowledge right now is if I had watched the cutscene. Yeah, it makes about as much sense. This is like, yeah, <laughs> this is, this is, this is top three most confusing storylines that I've seen in a video game. And I don't mean anything negative by that. It's just... Look at this. Mickey's here fighting. No it's further questions. Oh, oh my god, I've never played the Bowser the first game I ever played on PS2. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Dog Street. There we go, we got through that fight mm. pretty quickly. Good job. Easy flaps in the chat. Mm. But unfortunately, we have quick one already, so we don't have to go into wisdom form just to get across the map faster. Okay. Yeah, so each game in the Kingdom Hearts series itself is confusing. So if you just played Kingdom Hearts 1, you wouldn't be confused. And then if you took that and then played Chain of Memories, you wouldn't be confused. Same with Cage 2. But when you put them all together, boy, once you get into Dream Drop Distance and Time Travel, it flies off the rails. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's why I ultimately got lost that and said, you know what? If I do this again, I'm gonna just watch a YouTube yeah. video. If it makes it feel better, <laughs> the more it doubled down on time travel because the Kingdom Hearts How does that make you feel key, better? Uh, Dark Road leans into it. How does that make me? How was that supposed to make me feel better? Oh, or does it make me feel better for like for for jump for getting off the train? No, it, before we got yeah, to that no, point. Oh wait, it doesn't make you feel better. Sorry, I was mistaken. <laughs> you know, I, it, in a sense, in a weird way, it does because I, I I think I don't think my brain is big enough to handle that. All right, it's a lot. So we are and we are. Fully getting through, that's fully, we're very close to getting through. So it, what we're doing is we're using Magnet, and Magnet, if we hit enemy and Magnet, it hits them out, and then Magnet pulls it back in, so it does more damage. And we're also using our finishing plus, so you'll see him hit the ground. There we go, that does extra damage as well. And there we go, easy class, got through all the nobodies. Uh, those are, so those are assassins, and those are what uh, Axel Heartless are. Or not heartless, nobody's. Okay. So now we've officially entered the world that never was, which is the boss rush. So during these fights, I will let I uh, focus because it is very hard to focus with me talking over it. <laughs> oh. 
That looks like yeah, so what, that looks like a lot of like exact <laughs> sequencing. Yeah. That was really, really nice to yeah. witness. So that was a strategy called Fast and Furious. Um the revenge value we're talking about earlier. Um you're kind of abusing that system. So if you do a certain amount of to do one to do a combo on Roxith and do a second finisher, it doesn't quite hit its revenge value just yet. It is just under. So after that second finisher, you go up to him and you use a flash step. And it hits it two very quick hits on him, and that hits its revenge value. So once you do that, you have, I think it's like just a couple of frames, you pull out Reflex. He will always retaliate against you. You pull out Reflex, and then you jump into a Reflect, and that then you can start it all over again. Um, right, what we saw right there was us abusing um, Anti-Form. So we knew that Anti-Form was going to pop out there. And we're using it right there, and now we're gaining our drive back. We don't have to worry about anti-form next. Let's so what he's, what he's going to do is... There you go. This will actually refill this drive gauge, I think. Yes. But he's about to fight Sigbar. Um, it's going to be a lot of very precise movement with um, Dark Flare. It's going to actually take some concentration here. But you will see him abuse Ethers and Dark Flare a lot. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. Gotcha now. Uh -huh. First part's not bad, you just kind of hit it back on this part yeah. is very yeah, specific. You clever little sneak. Give me strength. R for reload. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, unfortunate there. You were good. Yep. A quick DM. It's very easy to dodge. All you have to do is move around in a circle. Uh-huh. Hold on. I'm going to finish this one out. There you go. So what he did, nice. so what he did was he used... He um, went... Um, Zig Wire shoot three times. That gives a small opening, so he goes into Duck Flare. Um, does the beginning of Duck Flare, does a full combo, finishes out the Duck Flare, and that pulls him into his absolute fate, where after you retaliate three times. So you dodge those three, so you go into limit, sorry, so you go into, um, Valor form, um, kind of abuse him into action form. We know that he always retaliate with three, dodge those, go into Duck Flare, and usually that ends it, um, it's very tight, so it's very easy. So yeah. you're like right at the end there. Yeah. I just messed up on my damage output, that's all. I know, I seen where I messed up too. All right, so next we have our favorite gambler here. And this, and a lot of these fights, again, very precise the movement in tech out of time here. Is the loser. So we have quite time for these fights. You do always turn to a die at the start of the fight, nothing to do about it. Take this! Defense! Back off! Caught! Take this! A challenge is... Ooh, I'm getting jungle. 
Yeah. Nice save. Look closely. Yeah. This is not a corner you want him in. Oh, well, scary. Okay, nice, why not? I'm not sure, why not? Yeah. Or like to do a thing called a uh, bomb. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Yeah. Look who's on top of the game. Right. Locked on to the card instead of him. It'll do that. Again, the lock on fits on floor it doesn't care who your main opponent is. It'll just walk on to whatever is close. Man. Oh, but, um, do you know the rules? Not too bad on vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. But what but what he did there is you can actually kind of loop him by jumping and hitting the two um, aerial hits and then landing, jumping, hitting two more aerial hits. And then what you want him to do, you want him to do his attack where he kind of tries to bind you up. Uh, you want to do that because when you reflect it, it does more damage to him. That's the quickest way. So next we have Thyfear. Very difficult fight to do casually. In fact, you're about to see some really cool master tech here. Nice. Yeah, so what happened there is, once it tells get slow, he'll go into DM phase. We don't want him to DM because that's a lot longer, and a DM is actually very scary, especially if we don't have glide. <laughs> so what we do instead is we reforce, we abuse our good friend revenge value and force him to retaliate instead. And when he retaliates, you can block it. That'll kind of make him drop his claymore, and you can get some more damage on him. Do enough damage, she'll grab it again, go out you, the loop repeats itself again. I have a few ways you can do it, but the fastest is with Master Form Reflect, because it does a little bit more chip damage on it, and then you hit hit a Blizzard, um, which adds to the RV. Gets it just above the floor. So now we're going to fight uh, Zimnith 1. Yep. So we've... We've... Sorry, my voice is going out a bit. <laughs> nah, you're gay. You're gay. I'll t I'll do your voice for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Man. I'm good. So, sorry. Yep. so we're gonna do this. Um, oh, oh, you're doing. She does not hit the start for good luck. Oh no. Sorry. Oh, you don't jump up and hit the start for good luck. Absolutely. Oh, I am okay. Well, I'm done commentating. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So, I just, one thing that's casual you probably don't know, uh, there are three reactions you can do on that one there, and you want to wait to the third one. Yeah, the third one does the most damage. Uh, the first one, I don't, think, I don't even know if it does any damage. The second one does a little bit of damage. There we go. Okay. Got you. Nice. Got a light stick. This is a long game. This is it. Back off. Guard. 
There we go. Mm. There we go. And now, so we mm. just get to be there with how buildings get. So we get an entire sequence. Yeah. So he usually does that at the very end once his health gets slow enough. Gets it. Oh, not easy to do at all. I practice that all the time, just different ways of doing it. Yeah. If you miss it, there is ways you can kind of recover, but it is very tough to pull off and takes a lot of time as well. Look. And you made that look pretty clean, man. Yeah. So we're in final fights here, and we call... Let's go! So what happens is they don't tell you this much of the game, but it's very slightly hinted that Thor absolutely hates building. In fact, he hates cities all together. Um, so we are going to go around and we're going to destroy as many buildings as we can. In fact, we hate so much we will throw buildings at problems. It's just all buildings from here on out. If you wonder why we're doing anything, it's because buildings. Gather. Alright, so... I know that is a really cool level design. Oh yeah. Oh, this is Nomura at his Nomura is right here. So, one thing that is happening that you probably don't notice, if you ever see what's going on outside, you are flying over a city right now. You can see the ground, mm. yeah. Yep, so we use the magnet here. Um, so you usually have to do, um, once you hit those, they kind of go away. Magnet counts as a hit, and it is the quickest way to get through. Alright, I'm going to master form, grab the end, and we're going to go to engine core now. Now, engine core, there are two ways, yeah, two ways of enemies here. We have to fight through. So, we're going to fight through the first wave. Again, abusing Magnet and Trinity Limit here. Once again, see the amount of damage that it does. And since it was at the end of that, oh, you hit to see that. So yeah. a lot of times, yeah, you can use that Trinity to get some additional damage on here. There you go. Stock up on MP. There we go. Magnet. Master Form Trinity. Oh, yeah, look at and you can see if you click between all the help of the level up we're getting. Yeah, you can just see how it's just draining down. There we go. And we did some extra damage on that engine core as well. This is it. So we're gonna go into Valor Form here, get some extra damage, and then our trusty friend Duck Player. That's such a good move. Let's go. And then we have now Zenith is a little lazy like me. He likes to sit down and fight. Curse. Right, someone drops. I mean, if you can, why not? Yep. Oh, so you use Valor Form right there. So normally they'll hit you. Yeah. Um, when you all use Valor Form, you can get some parrying, and and that's you was able to abuse that kind of attack. Back off. Back off. There we go. And we use our old friend. And the good thing about Death Player and Limit form, or limits all together are Thor is actually immune from damage while using Limit. Yep, it is basically Sora's. Oh, uh, yeah. Turtle emotes. Of his DM. Mm. See them turtles in chat, everyone. Alright, so we're gonna fight Blue Eyes White Dragon, and now there's a city on top and below us. Something you may not have noticed. Um, I, I only just realized it, like, I think a week ago, I realized that we're playing over a city. And beneath one. Mm hmm. Oh, no, you know what? I was looking at the notes of website. I was looking at, um, some of the levels. Just, you know, without gameplay, just what it looked like on different elements of it. I noticed, like, wait a minute. That's a city map underneath us. <laughs> Alright, so we are battling Kaiba Seto right now, or Seto Kaiba, his name is. He's done the blue-eyed white dragon, and we have to now fly around 
and get as much damage as we can to it. Unfortunately, we can't go into defense mode because our defense is low and they'll just attack our life points. I can't believe we had two speed runs in a row, but we got a blue eyes white dragon reference. We are truly blessed <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Truly blessed tonight. Oh, this is such an immoral thing. Nothing oh like you're, at some point you have to stop back and ask why what we're doing here. Why is there a oh, building look. dragon? Is that Riku? Totally not wearing a black hoodie? What? Is that Riku? Oh yeah. yeah. So at some point during the world that never was power climb. Uh, Riku took off the hoodie, revealed that he looks like Ansem. I don't know, comes about him punishing himself. And then they blew up some machine that was trying to open Kingdom Hearts, and now he's Riku again, and he took off the blindfold. Well, you said this wasn't a confusing story. <laughs> no, so it makes perfect sense. <laughs> I'll do all that pretty clearly there. So we're fighting blue eyes still. So, uh, how many phases is this fight? This is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So we gotta destroy his tail, his engines, and his wings. So we're on the last wing right now. Rico was after getting jacked with uh, Amigo. <laughs> And then we go and fight Mr. Armored Zemnis 2 once again. Ooh. Wow, how much... How many fights are we into this boss rush now? <laughs> uh, this is... We got power. this one and one more. Oh, so we got Armored Zemnis 2. Look, if anyone's ever wondered what the... Uh, what a lot of Kingdom Hearts is. It's a very yeah. simple and armor. It's okay. Whoa. Jerry across the Disney universe, he tracked down Kingdom Hearts in the beat the evil Ansem. He was not the real Ansem, but they know it was was also named Ansem. The real Ansem's name is Div. But the Prince of Thaenor stole his identity after Master Thaenor forced his heart into the body of Terra. Very easy to understand. Oh, that makes perfect sense. And with this fight, they don't explain it well either, but you get all your growth abilities. So right now I have sl uh, glide and dodge roll. Again, you never explain to you. You can just <laughs> aerial dodge Got yeah, it. and fly around. No further questions. Have to figure that out. So, so on this fight right here, he gets there three phases, and each phase he gets progressively more aggressive each time, which is actually good for us because um, again, we have Reflect, the best magic ever made, and that does a lot of damage. Um, I got a strategy keeps reverting to throw some buildings at him. <laughs> oh, I told you. We are against urban development around here. Island boys for We'll now. take kindly the city slickers. Take this. Ooh, can't get my ether off. That's good. Uh, you can get through, um, growing things. Yeah. Yeah. Growing Unless Riku throws... Bruh. <laughs> How am I supposed to see the wall? Oh, God. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Bruh. Oh, my God. I can't believe you actually all that. Oh well, just enough left over. <laughs> so that was actually cutting it very close on uh, magic. Okay. Oh my god, this is so bad. What is this animal? <laughs> there you go. You're this at is right now. This is peak disorienting. Is it? 
Take this. Yeah. That's it. Sora, let's go. Fine. Back off. Yeah. So this is the mod I made. Uh, Dead. He's on the wall. Oh my god. Yeah, I made this mod just mod just for the event. I get, I told Sai to install it, but and I told him I wasn't going to tell him what it does or where it is. Okay. Of course, of course. <laughs> I was actually very much hoping it didn't crash the game. I forgot to check first, but I was pretty confident. I've made I've made this mod a version of this mod like this is my third time doing it now. Bro, where am I? You're in the world of nothing. I don't know where the wall's at. I can clearly see the wall. Do you not see it? No. Oh. No? Oh, I can see it. It's where, like, the, uh, the thing starts floating in. Bro, I'm on the wall again. Nah, you're good. Where? Oh, maybe you are. Can you spare? Bro, he's on a wall. Oh my god. Why don't you vanish? This is <laughs> This is all kinds of beautiful and disorienting. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where the wall's at. Daniels, yeah, this is a masterpiece. There you go, see, you're fine. It's just final dimness. Bro, he was on the outside of the wall 95% of the run. That fight. No, you don't have to worry about it. Oh. Are you button mashing to do this? Yeah. So you do. Okay. So fun fact about this. So first other time you do this, you're mashing hard. Turns out you can actually put X and triangle um, back and forth. You don't have to do them at the same time. You can just go X triangle X triangle at kind of a leisurely pace. You actually don't have to match. That's a nice. Yeah, option. you don't have to match as fast as you think. Although you know, if you're on critical, I wouldn't risk it. All right, and time is coming up soon. Okay, okay. Oh, yep, on the final business pit, it'll be time. I'll go ahead and call it for you. This is such a cool action scene. Oh, yes. It's like A2. It's my, by far my favorite. It's not even close. Just this is right here. Riku! Look at that fish mouth thing, Riku. You end the game with the power you of friendship. Oh, are you going to flag it out for the end? Ooh. Let's flag it out, son. Do I, I don't even have enough drive. Oh, never mind then. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Time. <laughs> GG, man. My God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. GG. Heck of a run. That was fun. This final Zimnis is so... Oh, my God. I gotta take this mod off soon as I get <laughs> off. At least it's we not my it. space this time. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Oh my I god. I lost track of him. I'm like, bro, where is he at? Then when as I was fighting him, he was outside the wall. I could tell because I couldn't run towards him. I can see the wall just fine. You like you can see you can get to it. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop you there. There's no way you're Don't seeing anyone. There's no I way. Know what the wall looks like. I can see the edge of it. No, the other things white at the, at the edges. This is a dome that somehow has flat surfaces in it. There's that? no wall Even within any on. reasonable vision. <laughs> that is, uh, oh, come on, so that is Kingdom Hearts you 2 beginner 80%. Yes. Uh, you that was a really good run side, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sora. Next year we do yeah. level one. Oh, you're gonna do you're gonna do level one next year? Chill, one, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> nah, you put the energy out there. You no. can't do that and then say chill. <laughs> there you there only was there like five or six people really? on the leaderboard for level one. Are you mad? Hey, you you right about that? Yeah, I kind mm -hmm. of always thought you were. It's the way to get a top, have a top ten speed run. <laughs> well. Never know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me get my What's time for a beginner, and you never know. We might do a level one critical, eight percent next year. Oh, my God. oh that was that. That sounds like a time and a half, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody who doesn't really know a whole lot yep. about 
Oh, the yeah. run. Thank y'all for the to the mm-hmm. uh, the school and and everything that we yeah. had. Yeah. But for, that sound level one crit. That sounds like that would be it's, one heck of a time. It <laughs> is very tough. It's, like crit, um, just a crit run of this is very tough. Just because yeah. everything like you take um low damage, so you take half the damage that's normal and beginner. On um, crit, mm-hmm. you take twice the normal damage. So it's basically four times the damage you would on beginner mode. And anything at okay. any time will just one shot you. So level one is even worse because you do very little damage. Everything. All right, all right, got you. Oh, uh, quick, both of y'all. Go ahead. Tell the people who y'all are. Uh, Real my quick. my name's Silencer. I stream on Twitch almost every day, and on my social medias you can find me on TikTok, MySpace, Facebook, all that good stuff. Just type in Silencer, and I'm right there. You'll find me. My name is uh, D Animal for Life. You can find me in the cut. Um, I will be back here, um, unapologetically black and fast this Sunday. Uh, something I think ten fifteen Eastern, ten twenty five Eastern. No, ten forty five Eastern. That's what it is. And I will be racing Silenza mm-hmm. here in a mod of the game called One Hour Challenge, where we have one hour on the randomizer to get as many points as possible. So find that. Yep, yep. Ooh, that sounds like it's going to be a fun time. And y'all said Saturday, uh, right? Sunday. Is it Saturday? And you, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And you're only seeing all 50 plus 60 of my mods now? I can't remember how many I have. Oh, my God. Yeah. You'll, see, you'll only see one for me. That's all. <laughs> well, we'll be seeing this, this is not going to, We're going to be watching two entirely different <laughs> games. <laughs> but that was dope, fellas. That thank was you, thank real, you. real dope. Are we ready to send it out here? Is that what's going on? Uh, I think so. Is we up yeah, out of here? Just two bros bonding. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready. Well, once again, thanks for the runs, man. That was that was dope. That was really, really dope to witness. And I can't wait to check out more of what I got planned on this later in this weekend and more of what I got planned later in the, fu- in the future. All right. I think we are ready to go here for the night. Uh, thank you to everybody who stopped in, popped in, hung out, donated, you know, subs, bits, everything keeps these hot fixes events going. Um, so we appreciate all of that support. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. But let you know right now, this is not the end. This is absolutely not the end. We have three more days planned out this year that's right three more days uh so come back uh same time tomorrow what was, it was about one oh about 1 p.m tomorrow right yeah 1 p.m tomorrow uh if you guys came in late and you missed any of the uh the script uh the of the uh the live streams it's gonna go we're gonna have a rerun coming up right afterwards so if you want to catch all of that you can also stick around and chat so yeah thank y'all once again for being here and uh, real quick, uh, if you did miss out on any of our shows, not just this one, any of the shows at events, make sure you check out the VODs or the YouTube channel at YouTube.game, youtube.com slash games done quick. Uh, we're going to take us out of here for the night. I've been your host for the evening. I, my name is J-Rock the God. Sorry, I'm a little tired. And I will see you guys myself Monday night.